Yo k o s o Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. You can see the writing on the screen. Right now we're in the capital city of、uh, the Titan that we're inside. One of the biggest cities in Xenoblade 2, I think.、Uh, you can see our learning target is Desu and Da. <laughs> so give me your cats, bro. Go, Suka, and Masu. Yeah, it's Des and Da. So, what I wanted to talk about a little bit before we start our target today is here. Of course, our target is to, in the game, save the world, continue in the game. But there are two quests here there's the quest in the game, but there's also the quest in the language, in the Japanese language. We're playing the Japanese Xenoblade 2. And today, what we're looking for is this Desu and Da. Maybe you've heard of Desu before,、um, even if you haven't studied much Japanese. You often hear it、uh, in anime and things like that.、Uh, it kind of just means it's what's called the copula, kind of means is or to be. And the easy way to think about it is. When a sentence ends with a noun, it often ends with desu or da if it's more casual. And if a, verb end, if a sentence ends with a verb, it often ends with mas if it's more polite, or the plain form of the verb if it's more casual. So today, what I think will be interesting as we continue is we will look for desu, we'll see when it's used, we'll look for da, which is, again is more casual, see when that is used. And then a third thing we'll look for too. Is when nothing is used. Sometimes if it's really casual, you might not have desu or da. And that could be interesting to find out too.、Uh, also, of course, as always on Japanese Quest, we will try to increase our power level. We got a lot stronger yesterday, up to 150 in power level. We'll try to get stronger today. Any words we find, we can add to our power level here. By the way, give me your cats, bro. Konbanwa. Genki desu ka? How are you doing tonight? Good to see you again. Saw you in the Discord as well. If anyone wants to check out the Discord, the Discord is linked at the top of the Twitch page too.、Uh, so, any new words we find, we can add to our power level as we level up in Japanese and level up in the game. Who knows? Maybe eventually we'll have a power level over 9,000. All these words are suggested, most of them are suggested by the party, by people in chat here. So, if you want to follow, you can, you can become a party member. Also, and you can suggest words to add to our power level, give tips in the game or in Japanese or, you know, maybe Chinese. We can raise our power level in other languages too. Let's get rid of some of these arrows. Hopefully, I can undo enough here. Oh no, this is the first time I'm past the undo threshold. I knew this would happen. I think I can just do a file new. Don't save. That works. Okay. <laughs> Yosh, but I gotta change the colors back. That's the problem. If I draw too much, it goes beyond the undo threshold.、Um, to desu or not to desu? That is the question. That is the question that we'll be answering today. That's our learning target. You can see it up here. We will be looking for desu, at least five instances. And Yosh, ikimashou.、Uh, actually, one more thing I wanted to show before we start. Hi, Neiko. Is,、uh, this is our dictionary. We'll be looking for words later.、Uh, but really quickly, so it's a little tricky, but it might be worth talking about. The copula in linguistics, that is what desu is technically. And all it really means is a word, it's kind of cut off, a word, is, a word used to link the subject of a sentence and the predicate.、Uh, so this is the subject, the sky, and then blue would be the predicate. And so in this case, the copula would be is. And so, des kind of has a similar meaning, but it's at the end of sentences. And if we look at some couple examples, this is just Wikipedia. It can be good to get your mind around a new grammar concept. So, the Japanese copula has many forms. The words da and des are used to predicate sentences, to make the predicate of a sentence. And the way it works is this is a simple way to explain it. Japanese sentences with copulas most often equate to one thing or another. That is, they're often in the form. A is B. I think this is a really good way to understand it. So often you'll see sentences A is B. Example. So I am a student. Watashi wa 
gakusei da. And then here you use da, so it's a little more informal. So I am a student. So you say I, wa marks the topic, which is I. And then da at the end is the copula. Just a fancy word for kind of combining those two things together. And then kore wa pen desu. It's a little more polite because you have desu. Again, A equals B. This is a pen. A equals B. This is A. Kore is A. So this is a pen. Anyway, that's the basics. So we'll look for it. Um, with adjectives, it's a little different, but you can use des after an, an E adjective to make it more polite. But in that case, you can't use da. But that's a little trickier than we're going to worry about today. But you can use des after an adjective as well. And after a na adjective, a different kind of adjective, you can use da on that as well. Yo, sh let's go back to the game and let's do what we need to do, shall we? Vegeta, what does the scouter say Ooh, about his The kitty's power actually level? here. Let's get the kitty cam going. Let's see if we can get some kitty cam action. Yo, sh the Nako wants to go on an adventure. So give me your Casper Konbanwa, super laggy. But I'll check out back in a bit. Yeah, sometimes it seems like if if you refresh Twitch, it can work better. Igneel, konbanwa, genki desu ka? Good to see you, Igneel. Here, let me throw up, let me throw a dragon on there for you. Get some dragon hype in here. The drapon. Ooh, it looks like our third emote was just approved. I didn't realize that. I'll have to show you our third emote too. So the third emote, and I don't think anyone will probably get this one because it's in the top tier. But I can use it. Let's check it out. It was finally approved. Uh, so this emote here. Let's take a look at it quick. It's a very rare emote. It's called the Level Up Hat. A couple days ago, some of you guys might have been watching. Uh, <laughs> I drew a hat. It was kind of a top hat on Rex. And then there's a bird on top of that hat. That looked kind of like this. It was very kind of derpy, strange looking bird. It looked something like this. On that bird was another hat, and it went on and on all the way off the screen. If you look back at a couple videos at the end, you can find it. <laughs> mo, 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 mo. Uh, anyway, so this new emote that's available just to the high rollers is called the Level Up Hat. So it is a screenshot basically of this hat that was drawn a few days ago that people seem to like. Yeah, and various other hats. It is the level up hat. The idea being, so we have the game, but on top of the game we have another game, learning Japanese. And on top of that you can stack more things and it goes on and on. We can keep leveling up in different areas. Yosh. So anyway, it's another strange emote that now exists in the world. The level up hat, and then above that of course is the Draypon, one of the mascots of Japanese Quest. It's a no pawn like Tora here. Uh, but instead of being orange, he's green and has dragon spikes on his back like this. A drapon. Dragon and a nopon mix. And of course, he's saying what? Mo. He's saying mo, which is the nopon. Kind of the nopon language. Stacking. Sounds like... Dis <laughs> yeah, so come on, should I? That may be... <laughs> welcome, welcome, Ijin. Konbanwa, genki desu ka? How are you doing today? Anyway, let's continue. So what just happened yesterday was quite sad. Kanashikatta. Kanashi is the word for sad in Japanese. It is very kanashi in the past form. You could say kanashikatta. Uh, because one of our nakama, one of our friends died. Fandom died saving all of our lives. Died in a blaze of glory. It was really cool actually, but also very sad. Uh, so today we need to go back to his mercenary camp and they said we need to, there's something he entrusted us with, so we need to go back there and do that. So why don't we teleport back there? Mm, maybe let's go to the inn just in case. We can maybe level up. Might be good. Karuku Yasumu. Let's take a short rest. Yatta, we can level up. Level up. So this is what we're all about in Japanese Quest. Leveling up in Japanese, leveling up in the game. Level up. Let's level up. So I see you coming from Okamijin. 
あ、彼は、痛いもと言った。Yeah, did he say he got something hurt or something? 痛い means hurt. <laughs> やった、level up, level 26. Leveling up in the game. And our power level, not too shabby either, 150. Let's get some new words today. Okamijin, I know that last weekend you wanted even more words, so let's find some good ones today. Also, someone suggested learning Tengoku yesterday, the word for heaven, since we had a character die. Let's definitely add that one today. In fact, before I forget, let's add that one right now. We can show how, to, how we power up here. Let's go up to the power up. So, Goku is doing push ups, he's training up. Last thing he was learning is a while ago. The word for dragon, you, that's the old kanji for that. Let's change it to Ten Goku. So Goku can learn about heaven. He knows a lot about it since he's been there on Snake Way. That's where he trains, right? Yosh. So now Goku is training, learning about Ten Goku, heaven, the Japanese word for heaven. Let's look it up in the dictionary and see if the dictionary agrees with my definition here. Let's check. Ten Goku, paradise, heaven. Okay, okay. Looks good. Then, if we use our Rikai Kun tool, we use that every day that we stream to.、Uh, you can highlight it, look at the definition. Again, this tool, it's free. You can read the whole internet in Japanese if you have it. You can just hover over words. Very, very handy. Highly recommended. You can also just copy a word to your clipboard, and then we can put it to, in our power level. So, this is our power level, all the words we've learned so far. Up to 150. This is a Google Doc that's linked on the channel. So, the last word was tatakao, to fight. The last thing Vandom said to us was, You must fight. Fight for the ones you want to protect. So, we learned these two verbs, mamoru, to protect, and tatakao, to fight. And now let's add where he is now, which is Tengoku, heaven. And that will be added to the bottom of our words tomorrow. Let's go back to the game. Oh, it's got to go up. It's 150, but it just went up. So let's make our power level go up. Yosh. It is now above 150. Our power level is now 151. What do you think about that, Nako? Nyan, nyan, nyan. <laughs> The Nako's getting hyped. Let's go. Yosh. So let's teleport here. Power level has gone up. I hope you can feel the power in chat, other party members. Let's see what they want with us at the Mercenary Guild. Is that back here? Yep, so we need to go where that teleport point is. So, Kono Basho ni Ido Shimasu ka? So, would you like to move to this place? Hi! At the bottom now, you can see the words we just learned. Tatakao. Yosh. Okay, so where are we going here? I feel like the drab pond should be free to use. Yeah, you know, I do too. I wish it was, actually. <laughs>、um, but if you happen, if anyone happens to have. Amazon Prime, then you can subscribe for free. So then, in a sense, it would be free to use. But I agree with you. The Drap Pond, I would like if everyone could use it.、Uh, I don't think there's a way to have that functionality on Twitch, unfortunately. I'm with you, Igneal. Yo, so we have to talk to this guy about how the.、Uh, He wants to talk about Vandom and what Vandom is leaving to us. Yosh. Lexu. Kitasuka. And, uh. Let's remember, we're looking at Des and how it's used. So here. We don't see Des. But this is kind of like a. It almost sounds like Des. Kind of a Su here. Uh. So, you could say, like, yeah, it's almost like a desk there. Kind of interesting. So, Rex, you've come. Hi. So, no kao sudanus. 
Sudanatus. So don't do that face. So it seems like this is kind of a special way this guy's talk using the us at the end, just kind of an informal way. Um, Oyasan kara jibun ni nani ka atta toki, rakusu ni tsutaite hoshii to uh, shinden o azokatte rus. So he has a message from us if something if something happens to Vandam. Vandam san ga ore ni what? He gave something to me? Masaka. Uh, Yokan ga atte. Ah, so he somehow predicted that something might happen, I guess. Fandom did. Uh, so much did a nice kiddo. Uh, so again, this small tsu and uh, that you see there, that kind of is a des, but just kind of uh, shortened. So, so kamoshi did a nice des kiddo, you could say. But here it's just becoming. Uh, okay, so that could be, but he thinks that he didn't think something would happen necessarily. Okay, let's continue. Um, Yohei te no wa, um, itsu doko de shinu ka, um, wakaranai shokugyos. So again, we could have deaths here, but we're just getting the the su in a small su. Uh, the computer's freaking out for me. I'll be back. Matane, hope your computer comes back to life. Jane, Igniel san. By the way, anyone who's watching, Igniel is a dragon in our party. Always nice to have around. The more dragons, the more hype we have in our party. They're kind of like a hype engine. Uh, Yosh. Uh, so he says here, yeah. So mercenaries. They might die at any time. The verb here, shinu, we've learned before, means to die. So shinu kawakanai. So it could be any time that they die. So he's prepared for that. Kokai shinai yo tsutaitai koto wa shupatsu mai ni kanarazu takushite yokun desu yo. Yeah, he said, like, don't regret. He wanted to say, don't regret that I'm dying because Wanted to give you something though. Here we go. Yoku Kikus. Alright, so let's see what he has to give to us. Rexu, omai ni kono yohei dan o takus. Oh wow. So this is big. This is big. Um, so he's saying, Rexu. I'm gonna give you something here. Um, omai ni, so to you, ni kind of saying, showing the direction. Omai ni kono. Yohei dan o takusu. So he entrusts this entire mercenary group to us. Sugoi. That is big. Because we're just like a kid, too, right? Eh? He's just saying question mark, exclamation point. Ano, hoka ni wa, anything else? He just. So again, he could say death, but he's just saying Ijus. That's all. That's all. He's just giving you the mercenary guild. Sugoi. Eh, ore ni takusu te. Jodan daro. So Jodan, is this a joke? Jodan, it's a joke. Jodan daro must be a joke, right? Jodan jinai desu yo. Oyasan nashi. It's not a joke. It's very much like our boss. Very simple to understand message. So like, it's under. It's easy to understand, but why would he give the mercenary group to someone like me? So he likes us. So then he also, additionally, um, kono yohei dan no minna mo, uh, omai no koto ga kini terus. So in addition, other people, everyone else in the mercenary guild, uh, they like you as well. Masugu na dake jenaku, kakugo mo aru shi. So then he kibo kanji sasu. Ah, okay. So he makes everyone. 
まっすぐなだけじゃなく。So you're not just going straight. You all, you're also prepared and I think this is the important one. 希望を感じさせる。So you make everyone feel hope. And if you've ever seen the movie Shawshank Redemption, you know that hope is maybe the most important of things. 希望は大切なんですね。Very important hope. He makes everyone feel hope. Let's continue. でも、but, それは俺の力だけじゃ。So he's saying, but that's not just my power, it's everyone. Neko looks so happy. そうですよね。Neko はいつもハッピー。いつも嬉しい。Neko likes gaming. Lex, およそのいしよ。Um, つないでくれないですか I might have read that verb there wrong, but basically it means like inheriting the will of the boss there. As long as we know what everything means, having a reading mistake from time to time is daijobu, not a big deal. Let's keep going. Hikitsugu. All right, so we need to make a decision now. I'm going to ask the party members. So, anyone in the party there,、uh, let's make a decision. We have two choices. We either take on the Mercenary Guild or we kotowaru, which means refuse. I'm not sure if anyone would refuse, but let's weigh in. So, everyone in the party there, I like it's good if we can all weigh in on the quest over here on these big decisions. This is kind of a big decision. So, what do you think? Hikitsugu, take it on, or kotowaru? Iken wa nan desu ka? Take on the Merc Guild. Kotowaru. Oh my goodness. Okamijin says Kotowaru. Let's have a tiebreaker vote. So we have one. We have one for Hikitsugu. We have one for Kotowaru. Let's have a tiebreaker. It would be kind of funny in a way to Kotowaru see what happens. I'm guessing I'll have another chance then. <laughs> Okamijin says Kotowaru. Igneel says Hikitsugu. Do we have a tie break? The kitty. What's your vote, kitty? Hmm. I'm asking the kitty. Do you think so, Neko chan? Kotowaru. Will says Kotowaru. Alright, the Kotowarus have it. Let's go with Kotowaru. Bold choice, Will. <laughs> Let's try it. I'm sure we'll have to change it anyway. Yosh. Koto waru it is. <laughs> oh no. I feel kind of bad for him.、Uh, but the Merc work, work is useful. He, this guy. Yeah, in the other game, I took it on, so I did, I've never seen this reaction before. I, I bet most people haven't done this. Lexu.、Oh, I, I feel like he's kind of sad. I feel chotto kowai so. Feels kind of bad. I agree, Will. I'm, I'm glad that you chose Kotowaru. If no one said anything, I was going to do a tie break. The kitty was going to say Kotowaru. Lexu. Oya san no saiki wa donut desu ka? Oh man, this is so brutal. He's saying. <laughs> I can't handle it.、Uh, let's look. So, Oya san, so the master's final wish. Like, what's happening to his final wish? We're like letting down his final wish. I can't handle this.、Um, it's like only you saw his final wish, like his final moment.、Um, so, me and the other main guy next to him there, like we have no way of finding, of like seeing his final will. Only you saw it. Oya san wa nani o motte. Oh my god. This is like more emotionally brutal than I thought. Look at this. So, like, for what purpose? So, this is a really big word. So, he sacrificed his life. Gise means sacrifice. So, for what did the boss sacrifice his life? Wow, this is getting harsh. But this is what the party asked for. 
自分の命を支払う価値があるものを見つけたらじゃないですか<笑> ?Yeah。So, 自分の命。So, his life, there was something he found. 価値がある。So, there's something valuable enough to give his life for. So, didn't he find something big enough to give his life for? <laughs> And now, we're just kind of gonna give that away. So think, think deeply about that. Oh, look at Rex's reaction. Dot, 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 dot. Poor guy, he's so sad. He's been through such pressure. Most of what most of us wanted to know what happens. Yeah, I think we all probably feel a little bad now for this guy. I feel bad. Because think about it his boss died. He's known his boss so much longer than us, and he's completely right. He, Sacrifice his life. And now, this is all we can say silence. So, in Japanese, often you do silence with six dots like this. One, two, three. Yeah, you can just do six dots like that. Good to know in case you ever want to write some short stories in Japanese. One line of dialogue, done. Six dots. Let's get those arrows. So, desu yo ne. Oh, we have another shot.、Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think we have to Kotawaru again. I just want to see what he's going to say. We have to do it. Lexit. Okay, it's the same thing. It's the same again. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see if this is like one of those weird things where it might change. I don't think it will, though. It seems like you're in an infinite loop. If we cut the water. But this is a good time to learn this verb though. This verb, kotawaru, to refuse. It's the same verb it's often used for like like refusing someone on a date or something like that. Someone's, someone asks you out and you kotawaru means you say, nope. <laughs> In fact, if someone asks you out, they can say, tsukiyate gozai, please go out with me. You can just say kotawaru. That'd be a really cold way to just say, no, you just, I refuse. Uh, mo. I agree. <laughs> let's, uh, I think we need a hikitsugu, so let's do that. Wakatta. Ore, yaru yo. I'll do it. Understood. Yosh. Yoku itas. Sasuga oya san ga mikonda. So it's like he doesn't even realize that we koto wadu now. He's just saying, as expected, of the one who Phantom saw so much potential in. Yeah, it is fake choices. Kotowaru, it is a nice word. Yeah, use it. If any other dragons ever like、uh, propose marriage to you or ask you out, just say Kotowaru. I'm not into it.、Uh, demo. Yohei dan te. Nani o do sereba in desu ka? In daro. So, but, like, what can I even do with this mercenary guild? Fandamu san kara no dengon wa. Nani wa.、Uh, So there's no other message he left you? That, just that one word. Give the mercenary kill directs. But of course, we'll、uh, cooperate with you. Niga omois karane. Yeah, the load of just taking it all on, all the management right away. It's too much, so we'll help you.、Um, so Igniel says, it could be a useful word for me if people around here knew Japanese. So desu yo ne. But it's good to know too if you watch anime or something, you'll see it from time to time.、Uh, I'm sure you see it in Fairy Tale as well. I know your, your name is from Fairy Tale, I believe.、Uh, Rexu wa omanaka na shiji o shite kureba i desu yo. So it's good if you just give like the general orders. Komakai tokoro wa ore tachi ga yaru desu. Yeah, so. So, omanaka means like the more general orders you can give. The komakai stuff, the more detailed, everyday stuff. Ore tachi ga yaru. So we can do it. Ato wa jojo ni hiki tsui de ikus. Okay, 
So he can gradually take on more responsibilities. So ka. Sore nara. Nanto ka dekiso kana. Sounds good. Sounds like I'll be able to do it somehow then. Yosh. By the way, Yosh, you'll hear me say a lot in the quest as well. Just means like, okay, let's go, kind of feeling. Don't think there's an exact translation of it in English. I'm kind of curious what the dictionary says, actually. Let's type in Yosh, just see what's there. Yoshi. There's a few different words with that meaning. So Yoshi can mean meaning. But yeah, good, excellent, fine. Uh, that's about the same meaning, so it must be from good then, yeah? Yosh! I hear it so much, I didn't even really have a huge awareness of that. It can mean read. Yoshiashi, that's a... I learned that when I was studying for N1. Actually, I learned that from remembering the kanji book, because you had to learn that kanji. Um, I still remember the story I had for it. A good way to learn kanji is do you have stories for each one? And this one... The bottom part I remember means locket, and the top part means like grass. So I imagine like this flower or reed in a locket, and you find that locket in just some common reeds or something. I don't know, I had some story like that. Helped me remember the word for reed. Helps to have stories like that. Yosh, all right. Yeah, it just kind of means go. Yosh. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's erase that red thing I made. Yosh. Uchi no yohei dan wa kuni wo matai de kakuchi kara samazama na ninmu wo hiku uketeru. So we take missions all over many different continents. Goe ya tobatsu. So defense and taking down monsters. Bushi wo atsumeru ninmu. So also gathering goods. Sore ni additionally. There's also very, kind of, uh, very tiny missions as well. By the way, Rex, so, yeah, you have, ah, yeah, so you have, like, extra blades, don't you? Moshi. So if you have extra blades, you can send them on missions. So we'll also get experience for that, and the blades are not using, we can send on missions. So this is a major system in this game for anyone watching for the first time. All your blades that you have that you don't use, you can send out on these various mercenary missions. Um, kuchi de iu yori ji senses. So it's easier to just do it than to understand through words. Uh, yeah, maybe the easiest kanji in all of Japanese you see right there. Well, not probably not the easiest. Probably like one of the second easiest. So the easiest kanji is probably just one line. It means one. Then two is two lines. Three is three lines. So those are maybe the three easiest, but the fourth easiest is probably just this square here. It's just a box. And what it means is kuchi, mouth. So mouth is just represented by a box. It can also be like another general opening. And so here he says, e uh, it would be easier to just do it rather than saying it with your mouth. Kuchi de iu, iu means to say. Yosh. Let's continue. And like those little teachable moments we see throughout the game, if, it, if anyone ever finds value in any of those, feel free to make a clip. It's possible to make clips on Twitch and then later people could learn from them, potentially. Might be nice for learning. Yosh. So let's try out the new system, I guess. So this is the tutorial. We're not going to read all the way through it. But basically we can do the mercenary system now. Can we do that now? Yep. Yohei Dan. So that's a new option we have here in the menu. The kanji there, Yohei Dan, means the mercenary group. And it says, Blade o Yohei Dan e hak. Um, yeah. E hakenshima. So send blades to the mercenary mission. 
Ah, I never really even thought about that, but that's why all the blades you send hang out in the mercenary guild when you send them out. Okay, so we have a mission now. Let's try it. So at the bottom it says, Hakken Kanol, meaning it is possible to send them on a mission here. In where? In Bidia, the place we are right now. So this one, just to practice one, it only takes one minute. It says the time there. And then Saisho Ninmu, first mission. Who shall we send? Might as well just send anyone we have. It doesn't matter so much. It's only a minute. We can pick the leader. Ah, so at the top it says, Lida Tonaru. So who becomes the leader? Lida Tonaru Blade o Elande Kresai. So please choose who will be the leader. And then it says uh, the name of the team at the bottom. It says Butai na Nanakori Furaji Oretto. Hmm, not totally sure what all that means. Probably some weird katakana words. Hi. Gambarimas. She's gonna gambaru. In other words, do her best on this mission. So Igniel says, I remember when I saw the first mission being one minute. I thought that was about how all the other missions would be. I'm glad it's not like that, because there's enough missions as it is. So now it's already going down. 48 seconds. It'll be done soon. We are Ursula's new groove intensifies. Oh, is that what it says in English? Ursula's new groove intensifies? By the way, I'm not sure if I saw you comment here today, Blade Sun. Konbanwa, genki desu ka? So Ursula's new blue new groove is now intensifying, and we'll just dance around on some tents. Uh, Ursula's new groove, Naruto. So that's what it is in English. Omoshiroso. Interesting name. So it should be about over, right? There we go. Looks like she finished. Genki desu, yokatta. So anyone looking at them, what the party's saying? Blade just said, eh, genki desu, just means, yeah, I'm good, I'm doing well. Konnichiwa. Always good to see you. Blade has a, power, a high power level in Japanese and Chinese, I believe. Blade, don't you have a high power level in Chinese too? What do you think your power level in Chinese is? I'm curious. Power level just means how many words do you know? My power level is definitely highest in English, but I have a pretty high power level in Japanese too. Now we're trying to build one up for the whole party. Kon. Konnichiwa, Poram-san. Konnichiwa. Uh, Yokoso, Japanese quite away. Poram-san, I'm not sure if I've seen you before in the party so welcome to Japanese quest let's level up in the game and let's level up in Japanese if you haven't been here before yokoso just means welcome welcome to the party welcome to the quest uh, so what do we do next here everyone might need some help from the party hajimimashite poram-san desu ne yokoso so anyone who's just joining if you see so this is what the party idea really helps for with Japanese quests. We can really learn from everyone, not just from me. I'm kind of just a guide on this quest, but Poram wrote some really great words for learning to introduce yourself. Hajimemashite is the first thing you can say when you're meeting someone. And then Yoroshikune kind of just means nice to meet you. So I'll say the same thing. Yoroshikune, Yoroshikune gaishimasu, very nice to meet you. And uh, does anyone know where we're supposed to go next? Oh, right. We're supposed to look at the screen because she just finished that mission, right? So let's do that. Saisho Nimu. So first mission, she's back. And Sugoi. We get experience. We get 
Hoshugaku, we got money from it, that's gold at the top. And then Yoheidan Pointo, we also get Mercenary Guild points. Nice, nice. Ooh, and we get skills. Very cool. The kitty's excited. Ne? We're leveling up. The kitty's leveling up too, and cuddle powers. Podam san, are you studying Japanese or do you have an interest in Japanese? Always curious to hear what people think about Japanese. Maybe you are Japanese. We've had a lot of Japanese people come by in the party as well. So, sodeska means I see. Yeah, pretty much, Igneo. Sodeska means, ah, I see. Studying, very cool. Yeah, this is just a place. Um, I'm a Japanese teacher. I've taught high school and junior high and some other contexts for Japanese and thought it'd be cool to try to teach Japanese through video games. So that's what we're doing here. Oh no, ooh, but thanks for mentioning that. Yeah, the uh, scores just came out for the JLPT test and I wanna take a moment because JLPT is a really, really good goal to push yourself in Japanese if you wanna be serious about the language. There's five levels. N5 is the kind of more basic level. It goes all the way up to N1. So there's five levels. So I passed N1, uh, but it took a while. It's not easy. N1 is no joke. N2 also, if you failed N2, you must have a high power level in Japanese because N2 is no joke. Even to take the test, you must probably know some, somewhere in the neighborhood of at least 5,000 words, I'd guess. So N6, <laughs> yeah. N6 doesn't exist, but yeah, it could be even before. So, yeah. Uh, I also took, there used to be a test before N2, the old N2. I took that one when I lived in Japan. Um, but I've, I actually failed N1 the first time, but then the second time I passed it. So, in a way, failing can be better. Because um, if you fail it, you're just more motivated to study harder next time. So, like, if I had passed N1 the first time, I would have stopped studying. I might not even be here right now, to be honest. But because I failed it, I got so, like, pumped up with hype. I got so, like, like, when I failed, I went, like, Super Saiyan, basically. And then the next year, I passed it. And probably, like, that hype led into this channel. And so sometimes failing is better, honestly. So I recommend, if you really want to be motivated in the, in the language... Don't just take that JLPT. Take it and then fail it. I really recommend failing N2 or failing N1. Because your motivation, your hype, at least if you're like me, will go up a lot for the next time. Hype rises on Japanese Quest. And we like to pass out strategies for how hype and motivation can rise. Let me try my... uh. My Bane voice. Let's try it with the kitty. Hype rises! Disney. Hype rises! Not so good, but I'll work on that. Anyway, very cool you tried the uh, JLPT. I recommend anyone who wants to like level up in the language. The JLPT, what it really is, it's kind of like a ladder. In the language. You can take it in your country or in Japan does cost money to take it, but that kind of motivates you to go and climb the ladder. So at the bottom of the ladder is N5. It's a great foundation to start with. Then it goes up to N4. Then you can keep climbing the ladder. N5, N3. You don't even need to take it. You can take practice tests for free too. N2. Then at the top of the ladder, N1. But it doesn't end there. You can go above N1. That's what I'm trying to do right now with this channel. I want to write in Japanese, I write a book, other goals. It doesn't end at N1. N1, to me, is still part of the beginning. Um, my motivation for something falls drastically if I take forever on it and fail. Yeah, that's fair. Everyone's different about... Ah! Andoran Noob. Yokoso. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Right now we're just talking about uh, the JLPT ladder. It's a test for Japanese that can really help to... Motivate people to kind of level up and have a way of measuring. 
but welcome to the quest. All party members can chat over here and give tips with the language, tips with the game, and that's what we're talking about right now. Polram here took N2 and failed it, and I failed N1, so I'm just talking about how kind of failing these tests can be great, because you keep going up the ladder, and if you get stuck at a rung, it's okay. You can just keep working, and eventually, you can get back on that ladder and get higher and higher. It can be a really good way to study. Um, by the way, there's also a free test you can take that's almost the same as the JLPT you can take online, called the JCAT. So if you want a free one, try the JCAT. That's a good test too. So look at the JCAT, look at the JLPT. Both are really good ladders. Well, what is that? I made an L? What is going on here? <laughs> so JLPT. It's a ladder. I recommend using it. For me, honestly, it was the most motivating thing for me to level up in the language. So I see a couple more comments. Hello, friend. Yes, konnichiwa. Welcome again to Anadoran Noob. Noob. <laughs> noob. Yokoso. Uh, signing up for the test, which costs money, really lights a fire under you. Yes. This 100%. When you sign up for the test, it really lights a fire under you to like study like crazy. J kato, J kato. Yeah, so that could be another one. Um... My Neko down here joins us on this quest, and this Neko here loves the J cat. Cats prefer. This is the cat's. This is the preferred test of Nekos. So Griffin, my cat here, that's joining us on this quest, really recommends the J cat because it's free and it's, you know, got cat in the name. Oh no, I'll be over the threshold of undoing again. Oh no, the ladder I cannot undo it. I've got to start a new document again. This has never happened before today. We're getting too hyped up with all this drawing today. Uh, don't save the letter. Okay, there we go. Got to turn my colors back to yellow and red and a thickness change. And yes, let's continue our journey. Here we go. So where were we next? But again, thanks so much for mentioning the test and uh, about passing, like about just, just signing up for N2, that's awesome. So I congratulate you for taking the test and trying it, and yeah, you can take it down the next time, or the next time, and each time it just lights a fire, and the fire just gets brighter and brighter. At least that was my experience with taking N2 and taking N1. I never took the lower ones, but I think that could be good too. But in a way, I think for the lower ones, you could just take JCAT for free as well. But whatever motivates you, I recommend doing. Yosh. So where do we go? Over here. Let's just jump over all these people's dinners. Well, what is this person eating? Let's see if we can figure that out. Ooh, sugoi. Let's look at this food. See you. Part of what we're doing in this uh, playthrough is we're doing a deep analysis of this game. In the language, of course, but also some of the finer points. Like, what kind of food do they eat? Nani o tabemasu ka? What are you eating? Can anyone make out what that is? Is that like cucumbers? And, I don't know, maybe like radishes? What do they eat in this village? And over here, it almost looks like okonomiyaki. Like a pancake, maybe, with some stuff. Don't burn out. Some fires, <laughs> salada, so desne, looks like salad. So Igniel says, some fires start off burning so bright though, I can't get any brighter. True, since you are a dragon, your fire might all be already be max brightness. Cucumber and olive salad, good call, Igniel. That may well be. So we want to go deeper into the game. I played this game once in English, but now we're going deeper into it in Japanese and deeper into it in the game as well. And we'll level up in both. Yosh, let's talk to this guy. Buji, tase shita mitai ne. So it looks like you safely finished the mission. And again, he's using the su instead of des. We are looking for the des today, or the da. That's our learning target today, so we're searching for it in the game. Uh, but this guy just keeps saying this. Kind of a more casual way to do it. 
Oh, nice. Yohei Don Lebru Le got Ichinata. Nice level up in the mercenaries. Ah, uh, nice. Common Blade no Jocho Kano. Okay, so now we're able to resonate with more Common Blades. By the way, we don't read all the stuff in the tutorials and menus like this. We do read pretty much all the dialogue, but there's a lot of tutorials at the beginning, so we skip some of those. Uh, uh, so as you do more missions, your uh, how well known you are will go up. Um, so then you'll have more types of uh, missions you can take as well. So so additionally, also the number of uh, blades you can have also increases. Um, so it's all good things. Um, okay, so since Poram is new, let's show them in the party how we find our learning targets. So we just found Da. So if someone could do the uptime command, that would be awesome. All it takes is to write exclamation point and then uptime because we found a Da here. And let's just quickly look at what it does. We try to find at least five of these and then we will learn a new language art. So thank you, Igneel. So we're 53 minutes in, so we can mark that later for when we kind of make a catalog of all these different language pieces that we found. So here we found a da, and it's connected to keido, but you still have the da there. So let's see what it's doing. Konkai wa yusan ga yoishite kureta ninmu dakedo. So this time we got a mission that was prepared by Yusan, and then after this noun, we can put da. So in other words, just like the example we saw before, you're pretty much saying A is B, or A equals B. Um, so what you're saying is, so this time, konkai, so this time, it was A, a mission that we got from Yusan. And so I'm covering some of it up. So we're pretty much saying A is B. So this time we got a mission from Yusan. And to show that, that kind of is the uh, the copula here, to connect those two things, we use Da. And the Da is the more casual version. Um, and then after the Da, you can add something else, Kedo, which means although. So this time we got it from him, but. So from, from now on, what do we do? So the one thing to notice, so our target is des or da. So right here, Rex could have said ninmu deskedo and would have been more polite. But I guess he feels close. They feel close together. Um, so he was able to use da, which is a little more informal for more friends. Let's continue. So uh, So yeah, we can give out different missions from here. And also, you can walk around and get missions from other people that you find. A lot of people who are troubled for whatever reason. Uh, so there's a lot of different missions to take. Um, so it might be good to go back to these other continents like Gura, and we can get more missions there too. Naruhodo, naruhodo. Ah, I see. Ah, so, 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 so I have one more piece of advice. So there's different aptitudes that blades have. 
uh, so, and you need to pick the right ones to go to the mission that you have. Shikari to mi kurabete butai o hensei suru ninmu no tasei mare ni hitsuyo no jikan ga tanshuku saru so the time taken to finish the mission goes down if you use people that have the proper abilities. Koritsuyoku yaru tame ni wa mina no tokucho chanto kangai nakia ikinai da ne. So you gotta think about everyone's ability and their special powers. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> that's. Yeah. It basically seems like that's the, the des. Instead of saying the full des, he says the us. Like that. Yeah, we mentioned that earlier um, before you joined the party. But yeah, good comment by Purim here. He has a weird say, a weird way of saying death. We're not kind of using an uptime on it because it's kind of non-standard. Um, but sometimes you do see a more informal kind of death like that, where you kind of drop the day and put a just like that, a small two. Ah, so no toris. Yeah, you often do see characters like this in anime that will say this like that at the end. Usually male characters that are kind of rough. Kore kara lexu ga ninmu takusan konashi. Narete kitara sore ni yowasete jojo ni yoheidan no koto makusete ikusu. So you can do lots of missions, get used to it, and you can take on uh, more and more of the mercenary guild here. Tono toki ni wa mata uh-oh. So we were just talking about a test, the JLPT. So he's saying eventually if we level up as a mercenary leader here, we will get to take a test. Shiken, test. <laughs> so Poram knows this word, Shiken, right? Because he just took the JLPT N2. We get to take a test too. Um, a mercenary test. And we can come back to the village to do that. And Poram makes a nice comment here, otokorashi. So the way they say kind of modotte kurus at the end sounds very otokorashi, very much, very manly, kind of. Takusareda wari ni wa shiken ga arunda. Ah, so even though we are being entrusted with this, we have a test. Yep, yep, yep. Nihongo no Ryokushiken, the JLPT. Yep, that's how you write in Japanese if anyone wants to see that in the chat there. Nihongo no Ryokushiken means JLPT. Nihongo, Nihongo Japanese, no Ryoku, ability, and then Shiken, test. Put it all together. Japanese proficiency test. Japanese language proficiency test, JLPT. Irai wa yamahoro arus. We got like a mountain of jobs for you. Yononaka. Tatakao koto igai demo yohei no chikaro o hitsuyo toshiteru hito ga takusaru ni desu. So yeah, just beyond fighting, there's a lot of people that have need for mercenaries to do different missions. Stoka. I see. Vandamu-san wa kouyu shikoto shite tan desu da ne. Ah, so this is the kind of job that fandom did. Vandamu-san no kita yo uragure nai yo i yohei ra ni suru tame ni ore mo ganbaru yo. So this word is a word we should probably add to our list at the bottom, to our power level soon. Gambaru. Do my best. So, ore mo gambaru. I will do my best to please him and, and have a good mercenary group to not betray his hopes for me. Yoi kokoro kamaes lexu. Kore kara no yohei dan no koto. Yoroshiku tanomasu. So from now on, uh... I, yeah, that's a good attitude you have, and I hope you all the best. Hope for all the best with the mercenary guild. Yosh, ganbarimasu. We will do our best. So ganbaru or kanbaru? It's the first one. Ganbaru. I'm hearing that be said both ways for some reason. Yeah, it's with, with the G. Ganbaru or ganbarimasu, or you can say like when you want to cheer on someone, you can say ganbatte kuzai. Got some experience for finishing that. Mission there. Alright, didn't think they'd be speaking so quick, so I kind of missed some of that. So, so we go back to the uh, 
if we go back to the merchants guild speribia keu ste on the way to speribia um that's the shortest route yeah if we go back there that's the shortest route to where we want to go if we go through speribia Mm. So in the port there, there may be a merchant's vessel that we can take to get to where we need to go. Uh, anything that has a G in it at the beginning. Yeah, they're very close. And in Japanese, they just take the ten ten, right? Just the little dots. Uh, so maybe we can go for free. Tada it. We can maybe ride for free. That'd be nice. Let's go. Ah, you don't need money? Okay. So, salvagers can ride for free and we can maybe negotiate to get Homura to go as well. Dakuten. So desu ne. Yeah, the Dakuten is the little, uh, the ten ten that you can put on a word. See like down here the two dots there? That's called a dakuten. And what we're talking about is you can say ka, but then if you add the the dakuten, sometimes I hear it called ten ten. Because ten just means like a dot. Uh, it changes to ga. So it goes from ka to ga. And then ga is like in the word we've been saying, gambaru, gambaru. So Puram says, here's a weird trick. Say ka and press lightly on your throat while saying it again. Ka, ga. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like your throat kind of moves in a different way. Um, and yeah, I think that's what those, the ten ten or the dakuten that you're adding, that's what it does. It's just doing something slightly different in the throat. But to say, like, do your best, you can just say gambaru with the ga. Oh uh, yeah, I know it's late in Brazil. Podcast, oyasumi nasai. Podcast there is in Brazil, so it's pretty late. So everyone, party members, if you want to say oyasumi, oyasumi nasai. Yosh, let's continue here. Oh no, I almost pressed A. Ah, oh, that would be we'd be saved if it was free. Oyasumi. Brazil desne from Brazil. Nice, we finally have the mercenary group. We can take missions. We're not gonna read all that, but we can level up mercenary missions. Great. And now we need to go back to take a ship potentially. Oyasumi. Looks like we can maybe teleport back again. But do we want to talk here to get more missions, maybe? Ooh, look, we got all these new missions on the right. Where am I looking? I'm just going in circles. Oh, here. So here, I think, if we see these swords, we can get more missions. So let's talk here. Choshi wa dou? How are you doing? Kimashita ne, atarashi leader. So we have a new leader. Bandamo san ga, nakuna sarete mo. So even though we lost our leader, we lost Fandamu-san, we still have lots of clients that want various missions carried out. Okay, we found a desk, finally! We found a desk. Can we get an uptime command? So let's look at what this desk is doing here. Interesting. So we got an uptime. Uh, so let's take a look here. So watashi wa itsumodori. So I, as always, gyomu wo mato suru dake desu. So after the dake, you can put desu. And then again, desu makes it more polite than if we use da. And it's interesting because if you just ended with the sudo verb, you could just end with the verb. But if you add dake, meaning only, so I'll just keep only doing what I've always done, then you can add the des. But otherwise, if it was the verb, you would not 
at the desk there. It's interesting. And I saw a couple other comments, so I want to look at those. So, Oyasumi, and then, do you have any tips for R sound? R for Poram. Ah, R is my weak point too. I can't say Enryo. Ah, Enryo naku. To save my life. N and R. Yeah, the R sound is tricky because it's not Ra. It's not La. So that's why Japanese people can't say the L sound really or the R sound. It's more like a, a combination between the two. Like La, Li, Le, Le, Lo. Kind of combination between R and L is how I try to do it. Um, watashi wa. So he'll keep doing his mission as always. Sa. Uh, Fresu belugu. Um, Yohedan ni kita irai o utsutai shimashou. So I'll give some missions to you. I'll tell you about some missions. So Igni will give some uh, a tip there maybe. Just brush your tongue against the palate of your mouth lightly for the R sound. La. Yeah, it does feel like the tongue goes lightly across the top of your mouth, the palate. Mine sounds like a D. I end up rolling the R half of the time. La. Yeah, when I do it, I just am flicking my tongue at the top of the palate of my mouth. La, li, lu, le, lo, en, lyo, en, lyo, en, en, naku. Um, name. I wouldn't necessarily say that my, I, I don't know if mine is perfect, but I feel like it's pretty solid. Uh, it is difficult. Yosh, so he gave us more missions. Awesome. And by the way, anyone else who's watching, feel free to join the party in the chat there, or with a follow, you can join the party. And you too can uh, give tips if you have any in Japanese. It always helps to get more ideas. If anyone's an expert on, like, different parts of the mouth, you can bring that expertise here and maybe help us explain it in an even better way. That's what that space is for. Because I do my best to teach as well as I can. I am a Japanese teacher, but it helps always to hear from students too, and some people have ways that work for them. Everyone learns in different ways. It always helps to get more perspectives. That area down there in the chat that you see, party members can, com we can combine all of our powers and level up even more together. Hmm. I got the kitty sleeping here, so I might take a look at the kitty from a different angle. Yosh, I think we need to travel back to where we were. I think. Where are we going now? Oh, there we go. So we need to go over there. Yosh. And we need to go... Shitani. Down. Shita. Oishi, oishi, watashi wa desu. <laughs> You've got some interesting Japanese there. It's Shaka. Yokoso. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. It is good to hear that you are oishi. I guess that means you are delicious. Good to know. Yeah, the Neko is tired. Neko wa tsukaita yo. Honto ni. Ooh, let's go down with style. This is how we do this. This is how it's done. Sugoi. Neko wa tsukaita. They should really install these in malls, like in the U.S. and Japan. You know, really all around the world. Be a nice feature. I'd be all over that. Uh, wait. I think we're not supposed to go down here. Whoops. I think maybe we're going back up again. Machigaita. It's Shaka. Yokoto, welcome to Japanese Quest. Are you studying Japanese at all? It's Shaka, or the way you said that. Watashi wa desu ne. Makes me think maybe you, you've learned some Japanese, so you have a power level. Power level here, you can see at the bottom is 151, just means how many words we know in Japanese. What's your power level? It's Shaka. What's your power level in Japanese? It's Shaka, what do you think? Um, life is as extreme as you want to make it. <laughs> Exploding Penguin, welcome. So does Yone. Ooh, a heart to heart, where, where, where? We gotta find that. Oh, on the map, way over there. So does Yone, there's a heart to heart. <laughs> It's Shaka. Ooh, we got a new party member. Yatta. Yokoso. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. It's Shaka. It's a new party member. They seem like they're high level with anime. And they say they have a power level of zero in Japanese, but that's not true. Because you said oishi, that means delicious. You said watashi, 
that means I, and you said desne, and that's kind of like a word too. So you, I'd say your power level is at least three, at least three, and I bet it's higher than that. Don't worry, we'll get that power level up. That's our goal here on Japanese Quest. At the bottom, if you just look at one word, take a look at the words at the bottom. These are the words we've learned so far on our quest. We learned these ones down here recently because they're more towards the top. For example, this word hikari, we met a character named hikari yesterday. It means light in Japanese. So if you were to learn a word like that, hikari in Japanese means light. Your power level goes up by one. So if even you're watching this stream and you learn one word, your power level goes up by one, I will feel the mission is worth it. The quest is worth it. Yokoso, welcome. There's another word we learned, boshi. Sometimes we uh, draw hats on characters, so that's why we added that word, boshi. The pirate right here likes to have a hat sometimes. Rex, he prefers the wizard hat. Boshi is that word. So as you're watching, if ever there's too much language and it's overwhelming, you can even just mute it and just look down there, learn some words, get some power level. Chill, relax. Look at the cat. So, welcome. Yokoso. By the way, welcome in Japanese is yokoso. So, everyone's saying yokoso down there. It just means welcome. Uh, and I think we weren't supposed to go down here, but it was worth it because it was fun. Uh, let's go back where we were. Hmm, now, how do we get over there is the question. Maybe we can go partially down? If anyone knows the way there... Poppy should get a party hat, so it is. <laughs> that might be a good idea. But remember, her name is Hana in Japanese. So let's try to use her Japanese name. Hana, meaning flower. But Poppy was her Japanese name, or her English name, rather. Okay, so again, we need to go down. Yeah, I remember it being hard to find this the first time. So I could have trouble finding this. Can we go down partially and then... Because we need to go down, but how much... I don't think we want to go there. Exploding Penguin, you are the best navigator that we have, I think. Uh, we might need your help on this one. So all the party members can kind of help us. Like, everyone has their own skills. Exploding Penguin is very good at this game and knows everything, like where everything is. So we need to go up. So... Higashi, yeah, it's east. I do know that question is, how do we get there? So it's at this elevation. Right, like, over there, I think. Uh, but the question is, how do we get there? What's the difference between chotomate and matsu? So choto just means a little bit. So chotomate just means, like, wait for a little bit. And then matsu is just the verb for to wait. But when you put the te on it, it's a command to someone. So you can say, Chotomate, please wait. And matsu, if you say matsu, it just means wait more generally, but you're not commanding anyone to do anything. Good question. It's Shaka. I always feel free to ask questions there. Other people in the party can possibly answer them too. So isn't our destination a port? Go to the top of the stairs, then go down the stairs to the left. Thank you very much, Exploding Penguin. That will take you to the docks. I could not figure this out before. This place is tricky. So these... Ah, arigatouzaimasu. Tasukarimashita. We are saved. Exploding penguin is the best for navigating. Onigaishimasu. Now, if only I can find steps. I think there's steps here or over there, maybe. Yosh. I think we're on the right track now. Arigatouzaimasu. Sugoi. We made it. Yarimashita. So, Pyro just said, we did it. Yarimashita. Tasukatta. Arigato. See, when we combine all of our powers, we can do anything. In Japanese, in the game, we are unstoppable. We will make it to the world tree. We will save the world. In the game, maybe in real life, I don't know. I don't, we might be that unstoppable. So, P. Lolo. P. Lolo. Let's see what P. Lolo has to say. Looks like he has a quest. Sensei. Osoi desu mo. Ooh, we found it. We found the desk. Let's get an up time. Let's find out what the desk is doing here.
う遅いですもん。So yeah, if we can uptime there. Thank you, Igneal. So here we found the deaths again. This time, it's going to be a little unusual because a no pun is talking. And no puns, as we've learned on here, always use mo at the end. It's their special dialect. Mo. Uh, very interesting. Uh, so, sensei, o soi desu mo. So, he's talking about his teacher, his sensei. And his teacher is late. O soi desu. So, adding the des is just making it more polite. Sensei, o soi desu mo. You could leave off the des and just say o soi mo. But des, this is a polite no pun. So, it makes it more polite. So, you can add that to an e adjective here to make it more polite. O soi desu mo. So, very easy. Uh, see a comment. Des Haken. Yes, we discovered Des. No pun, like different speech. Yeah, and this reminded me of something that I was going to talk about, but I forgot to talk about. So, no pun have their own dialect.、Uh, in Japan, there's also many different kinds of dialects that can change how a sentence ends. So, the standard way to end is Des or Da. And we can see that here. But let's take a look at this file I looked at earlier on the browser. So here we have a map.、Uh, let's see if I can scroll down a little bit here. All right. So here, let's take a look at this map. So the standard way to end a sentence is da. But just like with no puns, you can have different ways to end sentences. Let's get rid of all these arrows here. And this is color coded. This I found on Wikipedia as well for the copula. So again, the standard way. Is to use the da, but in some areas, like you can see down in Kyushu here, in their dialect, you can also end sentences with ja. And the different dialects are called hogen, different dialects. So let's add one more. So no pawns can end a sentence with mo. So this is for no pawn. <laughs> no pawn. Ends with mo. And then ya, you can see in this region, you can end sentences with ya. And I think that's more of the kind of Kansai region, I believe. So, like, that could be Kyoto or Osaka, I believe.、Um, and then you have ja or ya. And that you can see it has crossover with the ya here. And then some areas have purple, where you can end with da or ja. And then da, ja, and ya. So there's different dialects. So the standard dialect is in this area. So this prefecture here is Tokyo. This is Tokyo, the one I'm making yellow here. And so they use what's called the standard dialect. They'll learn in a Japanese class. So this whole area uses more of the standard ending for sentences. But there are different endings. So it's not just no puns. Even in Japan, there's different dialects that you'll see as you travel around the country. But most people know the standard dialect as well, because that's what you'd see in the news, things like that. All right, let's go back to our dictionary for later when we add words. And let's also go back here. Hogan ga muzukashi sugi. Ah, I see a comment down here. <laughs> nice.、Uh, yeah, dialects are difficult. And then no pawn. Like different speech, mo mo mo, yeah, no pun dialect, much different than any other. No pun speaking the way to, as little as possible, yeah, with me. In English, they say me, but they say mo in、uh, Japanese. I can make the emoticon here, mo mo mo. Half dragon, half no pun. Mo mo mo. Yo, so let's see what he says about his sensei here. Nani ka atta? Did something happen? Anatta. ガス・トレ先生に会いませんでしたかも。Did you meet my sensei somewhere? His sensei's name is ガス・トレ I guess. うん、No, we did not. どうですかも。もももももも。<笑> yes, Igneo, ありがとうございます。Uh, どうですかも。そうですかも。Ah,、uh, so, no, we did, meet not, we did not meet them. And then, ah,、uh, フレス・ベルグ・ヨヘダンにお仕事依頼して、そう、ああ、he asked this mercenary group for doing a job, 
So he went out to do that, but. Uh, so he keeps saying the desmo at the end, you'll notice. So that's the way he kind of speaks. We don't need to keep marking those deaths, but let's. So uh, before, um, there was a question about this word matsu to wait. And here we say, we're, we see the word here. Matemo, matemo. So no longer, no matter how long I wait, kaite konai. He never returned. Fence my money, kita fresuru gu yoheda no hito ni kite mo shirenai to iwaremashita mo. So he went to fence my mu, or like heard that from um, someone from the guild. But that person said they didn't know where, didn't know where he is. She didn't I, didn't know. Gastore sensei, pirodo do sereba imo. So what sh whatever should I do? What should I do to find my sensei? Well, obviously we can help them because this is a quest. Rexu otetsurai shimasu yone. So Homura is saying, let's help out, Rex. Let's help out. Ah, mochiron. Zenryoku de ne. Yes, let's do it with full strength. And he always says the same thing for these quests. Senryokude, with all of our power. Momo? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's a no-pon way to say it. Don't say Momo like that in Japan. People will think you're a, a no-pon. And that would be strange. Sagashite kureru in desu ka mo? You'll search for me? Jitsu wa ne. Anata. Furesu maimu yoheidan no. So, are you people from that mercenary guild? And yeah, we are. Momo? <laughs> Igniel, are you also a nopon? Have you changed from a dragon to a nopon? Or a drapon, perhaps? Kouna uh, deai desmo. Ooh, this is a great meeting. Pirodo kangeki desmo. Kangeki, so he's super happy. Very happy that he met us. So in that case, I'll ask you again. I'd like you to find my sensei, my teacher, Gastore. So Igneo says, Me thinks me now no pun. Me not know though mo. Yeah, just make sure to add your, end your sentences with mo, then you can be a no pun. <laughs> sensei wa furesu berugu yohei no mura e mukaimashita ga mura ni wa mara so, our, the sensei went to the mercenary group, the one that we just joined. Ga, so we can see that ga. Anytime you see a ga, it's nice to underline it in your mind. So, went that way, ga, so went that way, but... Mada Tsuitena has still not reached the village. So somewhere, maybe got captured by a monster or something. Ryokai, Roger. Yoroshiku desu mo. Thanks so much. Doka sensei ga buji de arimasu yoni. I hope that somehow sensei can be saved. Des haken. Oh, did you see a des? Ah, I missed it. Yeah, this character does keep saying des though. Um, so maybe let's. But thanks for mentioning that you saw the des. I think I changed it too fast though. We'll find it again. Don't worry. So we found at least two that we marked with time. So let's look for at least three more. Uh, active quest. I don't know if we need to make an active quest right now. So I'll say Iye. But thanks again, Polram. That's one thing the party can help with, finding when we find the desks. Cause I'll miss them sometimes. Ooh, here we go. So we'll ask about this ship here. Ikimashō. Kore wa Aberia Shōkai. Gorutomanto Yuki no Arusu Sen mo. So this is a Titan ship. Uh, it's from an Abidia, um, the, like the commerce trade guild. And it's on its way for Gorutomanto. And I think that's where we're going. Salvage nara tarade no sete agerumo. So if you're a salvager, you can ride for free. Tarade. Tara means free, so tara de means you can you can do something for free. Yosh. 
What do you guys think? Get. Get just means like to get something, right? Get. Just like get, G E T in English. Get. Kind of means you can get something.、Uh, so, what do you think, party members? I'm going to ask the party again. We got two options. We can say, Hai, shupatsu shimasu, or Ie, shupatsu shimasen. So, shipatsu is a word we learned before. Just means to shove off, to go. Should we say, Hai, or Ie? Shall we go on the ship or not? Should we hang out here more? Dou moi masu ka? What do you think? Eight nil think friends say, Hai mo. <laughs> Hai. Konnichiwa, mina san. Ah, konnichiwa, konbanwa, weaselus. Genki desu ka? How are you doing, weaselus? I'm not sure if we've seen you before here, so if not, I'll say, Yokoso, welcome to Japanese Quest. Feel free to follow if you like and join the party. And in that chat box there that you are currently in, you can give people tips in Japanese or in the game or, you know, ask questions. It's a space to help everyone level up in Japanese and in the game. When would you use dewa nai instead of janai? So, dewa nai is a, it's a bit more formal. The janai is more casual. So, when you want to be polite, you can say dewa nai. Good question, Okamijin. So, again, down here is a great place for questions. And party members down here, you're, we're all party members here on this quest, this Japanese quest. You can think of me as kind of like a Gandalf type of character, but we're all a fellowship. Everyone in the fellowship has their role. Maybe Okamijin here is like Aragorn. We got Poram, maybe that's like a Legolas. Weaselus just joined. You could be. You want to be Gimli? You could be Gimli or any other character. And when you combine all of our powers, we're much stronger than just one party member. So, hi. Daijobu desu. Chotto tsukareta. Kimi wa. Ah, so Daijobu, you、so、say you're good. But chotto tsukareta. So, a little bit tired. Tsukareta means tired. And chotto just means a little bit. Just like when we saw Chotto Matte before. And then. <laughs> what are you saying there, Poor Rom? Is that it? <laughs> ah. No, no. You're saying like I'm the White Wizard? No, I'd say like I'm currently Gandalf the Grey. I still need to level up too. I haven't, fight, I haven't found the Balrog yet. Maybe in this journey someday we'll find the Balrog. I'll become, I'll become the White Mage. No, I'm still Gandalf the Grey. The, this journey, this. Quest has just begun. Remember at the beginning, Gandalf is just Gandalf the Grey. He had to fight the, the Balrog to become Gandalf the White. I've still got to find my Balrog. We're not there yet. I've got to level up too.、Uh, by the way, Weaselist, I'm very good.、Uh, <laughs> It's interesting I can use that word, umai.、Uh, I've studied for a lot of years. I don't exactly know how to say it, but I'd say I've studied like really seriously. Like, seriously, like studying for JLPT or like just reading books every day for something like five years, six years, maybe.、Um, thanks for the questions, Weaselus. And I think we're going to say height because someone did say height. So, White Mage. Yeah, I'd say that、uh, Gandalf eventually became a White Mage, but starts out as Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> Poram wa Final Fantasy IV no Jinbutsu. Oh, you're a character from Final Fantasy IV. Nice. Dare. Who are you from Final Fantasy IV? And Weaselist, how many years have you studied Japanese? Nanen gurai. Benkyo shimashita ka. Let's continue though. Because I did hear someone. Shuko! So let's shove off. Shuko shimasu. Final Fantasy IV. I've never played through that one. I started it, but I didn't play through it. I started it in Japanese one time, but I never got that far. I did beat Japanese, Final Fantasy VI in Japanese, and might even want to do that some, someday on this channel on Japanese Quest. s But I've heard Final Fantasy IV. Hey, Rexuma! <laughs> Lexumo! That's a very no pun voice there with the mo. Ah, you're still alive, so we're back, we're back where we started. Hmm, so you took all your friends with you too. 
<laughs> so you're kind of famous, huh? You Meijin. So Weasel is. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you can use Umai for being skilled at the language too. Um. So I think it is okay to use Umai, but Jozu works well. You can kind of use both. Uh oh, for so one and a half year you've been studying. Nice. Kedo, but uh ah. Oh, very nice. So you're living in Japan as a Yugakse, as an exchange student. Nice, nice, nice. You're able to study a lot. My flatmates use Umai all the time. Yeah, Umai is very, very commonly used. So Yeah, I haven't lived in Japan for a while. I did go there last summer, but uh, yeah, since you live in Japan, any insights, like things that you've heard like last week from native speakers, that's the insight that I can't necessarily give because I live in the U.S., so you're very, very welcome. I am a Japanese teacher uh, living in the U.S., but it's great to have the Japanese perspective too. I did, leave in, I did live in Japan for two years. Let's see what's happening here. Much Japanese in chat. Hurt Igneel's brain. Try to speak no pun speech. Also hurt brain. Momo. Gambate gozai. Do your best, Igneel. Isho ni gamarimashou. Let's all do our best. Yeah, in the chat, Japanese and English, very welcome. We will try to level up in Japanese. Some people can level up in English too, as well as the game. Hiragana o yomimasu ka. So can you, can you read hiragana? I think Igneel can read some hiragana. What do you think, Igneel? Ma... So he says, Kokodeno So my job here has gone on for a long time. That's why everyone knows me around here. Okay, so let's find a ship on the way to the Empire. And before that, everyone else, you can go to the uh the Yado. Yado ni itte. You can go to the inn. I welcome more Japanese in chat. It's good practice. Watashimo. I also welcome Japanese in chat, but feel free to type in English on chat as well. Japanese and English, both very welcome. Sometimes it helps to have Japanese to learn, but sometimes English can help to learn in Japanese as well. Okay. Interesting how you see the okay written in hiragana there. Okay. So yes, we'll uh, we'll go to the inn and see you later. So Weasel is normally people start the other way around. How come you started with katakana? Ah, so what did Igniel say? I can read kata. I recently started studying hiragana. Uh, Weasel is I don't know what um, Igniel will say to that, but for playing a game like this, learning katakana actually can get you more bang for your buck because there's so many menus that are in katakana, and if you can read them, you can leverage you can use all of your english it's very very helpful for playing games like this the words in katakana seem simpler and new some words in katakana yeah and all of your english like think about it if you add katakana your power level in japanese goes up by probably like a thousand or two thousand because every english word you know in katakana you now can read so it's more bang for your buck right away so it can be good to learn both but for a game like this, katakana will probably help you more if you're just starting out. Okay, so Teikoku Yuki no Fune wa Yonkai. So we gotta go to the fourth floor. You can see the floor there. Yonkai. The kanji after four is the floor for floor. Kai, floors. Um, Hiko Kanban Kara. So it's leaving from the flight deck up on level four. So let's go up there. So down there I see a comment. I do not understand English and Japanese, but I'd like to see your lives. I do not know why. <laughs> it's good to study. I think that's why. We can level up here. Level up here. So there's a reception desk up there that we can maybe reserve a ship. Yosh, ikuka, let's go. 
Oh no, we're all alone again. Sabishi. Wow, we haven't been here for a while. Remember this place? Ah. Kire desu ne. Kumo no umi. The Sea of Clouds. Very kire. Kire desu yo ne. Yeah, in a way, for someone like Portgas, who their native language is like Portuguese, in a like they can le learn e even more because they can learn English and Japanese, level up in both. Ooh, Hakken Takarabako. Oh no, not enough concentration or super strength. Poram, irashaimase. Oh, you got the drap hone. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you you wrote the word for drap hone, but I think uh, it will only work as the emote if you're if you subscribe to the channel. It's too bad. Uh, so at Weasley's, that's really cool. I can read all the kanji you've used, but my grammar is still not that great. And then Weaselist says some more things in Japanese. Let's see what. Uh, so, Nihon ni iru toki. So, when I'm in Japan, katakana wa hiragana yori taisetsu. Yeah, so this is a, another good piece of advice. So, living in Japan, for Weaselist, who lives in Japan right now, in, in Tokyo, I think they said, as an exchange student, knowing katakana, reading things on the street helps more, especially with things like menus. You can read menus. Uh, yeah, often foods are written in katakana. Kaite arimasu. So they're often written in katakana. So that's really good insight for, from someone who lives in Japan as an exchange student. Katakana helps a lot to get around Japan. So in the game, it helps a lot to get around, but also in Japan. Very cool. Yosh. And we, got, we need to go to the flight deck. I'm trying to find the way up. I know we can teleport up, but I kind of want to learn my way up there a little bit. Where are the steps? Kaidan wa doko desu ka? Man, this place is bigger than I remembered. I oh, hear some steps. Neko, neko, neko. <laughs> yep, that's neko. Living things like animals and crops, also in katakana. Um, yeah, sometimes they are. Aren't names in katakana too? Sometimes names are in katakana. Not always. Where are the steps? Kaidan wa doko? Rockman! We've got a comment from Rockman Z Omega. How are you enjoying the game? I finished it Sunday and think it's one of my favorite games. Yoko so, Japanese Quest. Welcome to Japanese Quest, Rockman. Uh, to answer your question, I love this game. I've already played it through almost all the game. I didn't beat it quite in English, but now we're playing it on stream in Japanese, and we're learning Japanese along the way, kind of going deeper in the game, deeper into the language. Uh, I love the game. It's one of my favorite games, too. I think it might be even better than the first Xenoblade, which I also love. Uh, so thanks for the question. Um, feel, feel, feel free to follow if you want. You can become a party member, too, and... Hang out and see the game in Japanese if you want, or learn a few words in Japanese. What we do in this channel for anyone watching is we try to increase our power level. So it's kind of a game within the game. So we play the game, we level up in the game, but also we level up with words that we learn in the game. And we add words as we go. Each word we learn adds to our power level. Right now, our power level is 151. You can see it down here. So any of these words at the bottom you see... We encountered earlier in this game and you if you see the word there you can add it to your power level your power level can go up in japanese uh, i see a couple more comments and by the way rockman very cool name that's the the name for Mega Man in japanese by the way if anyone doesn't know so weasel says before you go to japan as a tourist invest two three days to study katakana yeah helps a lot when you're in japan 
By the way, uh, Rockman. What did you enjoy most about the game? You said it's one of your favorite games now. Um, no spoilers, but uh, what was your overall impression of the game? If you want to go into more detail, I'd be curious to hear. A lot of the people here love the game as well. Um, so Weasley says, you can use Umai as tasty and great. Yeah, very true. Neko-chan wa nan sai desu ka? Neko-chan wa ju sai desu. I think the Neko is around 11, but it's an adopted cat, so I'm not totally sure. So Rockman says, I think it's better than the first one also, and will do. I played through the game with Japanese voice acting. Nice! Yatta! I did too. I did too. I think that's the way to go. I did hear, though, the, the voices in English are pretty good too. Um, I mean, there's different people have different opinions, but I've heard they're pretty good. And yeah, I'm a huge Mega Man fan. Rockman desu ne. Sugoi. Yeah, welcome, Rockman. Good to see you. Ooh, Modman Morgan. Sugoi, hosto. Arigato gozaimasu. Modman Morgan with the host. Anyone joining from a Modman Morgan stream? I was in uh, Modman Morgan's earlier. I'm actually good friends with Modman Morgan in real life. We've been friends for decades. <laughs> And anyone just joining from Modman's channel, uh, this is a kind of a unique channel. What we do here is we try to level up in the game, but we also try to level up in real life in Japanese. Well, you can see down here, this is our power level for this quest so far. We're playing Xenoblade 2 in Japanese. As we go in the game, we add words that we find. We add them to our power level. Our power level in a language is just how many words you know. So welcome, welcome. Sugoi hype, thanks for the hype, Madman. You're very welcome. So this is Modman Morgan. Modman Morgan is awesome. Yokoso, Japanese quest away. Welcome to the party. Rockman, we now have a Mega Man, a Rockman in our party. Ooh, we also just got a host from Podom. Sugoi, another host. Arigatouzaimasu. Wow, the hype. Look, Modman, if you guys want to check out his channel, Modman has a great emote here of a cat that brings hype. So the hype rises here on Japanese quests. Uh, Modman has a really cool channel. He's a variety streamer. Very, very awesome guy. Good friend of mine in real life. To be honest, Japanese quests may exist indirectly, kind of directly in a way, because of Modman Morgan. Because Modman Morgan started a while ago on Twitch. And because of Modman Morgan, my brother started streaming also. My my brother is Great Ape Greg. And because my brother streamed, I watched my brother stream a lot. That's why I started streaming. So probably you're all here right now and Japanese Quest exists because of Mod Mad Morgan. So please say Yokoso, bring the hype for Mod Mad Morgan. And thanks so much for the host again. Arigatouzaimasu. Arigato. Thank you very much. So a couple more comments. Let's see. How old are you, by the way? Japanese Questo. Uh... I think that I like to be shrouded in mystery, so I might not talk about how old I am. But since I'm wanting to be a Gandalf type of character, let's go with uh, Nihakusai for now. Let's go with... I'll say I'm 200 years old for now. And then, hello friend. So Rockman says, I thought the battle system was an absolute treat. Yeah, the battle system in this game is really good. Blade combos are satisfying. Driver combos as well. Breaking the elemental seals. Yeah, I agree. The battle system is a lot better than I thought it would be. It doesn't look that fun. Ooh, Rue. We got Rue 3K as well. Rue 3K was our first subscriber here on Japanese Quest. So that means Rue 3K, you can actually do our emotes. We made a new emote that Rue 3K can do because you are a subscriber. Sugoi. And then Igniel says, second best battle system, Momo. Kangeki moshiagemasu. <laughs> so Poram says Kangeki, which means... Thanks very much. Sugoi. All right. So let's continue. We're still trying to get up the steps, but we had so much hype come in with Modman Morgan there and Rue3K and everyone else. Ah, uh, Sugoi. Rue3K breaks out the, the drapon, bringing the hike. Bringing the hype. The hype rises. The hype rises here on Japanese Quest, and the no pun with saying "momo mo" brings the quest. I know Poram tries to do the no pun, but 
unfortunately doesn't work because you're not a subscriber. I wish that everyone could do it, but unfortunately, you've got to subscribe. But uh, if you do have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. So that's one cool thing. And if anyone else wants to support the, the quest, you can subscribe by pressing the button at the top. And there's a $5 option. And you can use that emote as well. And yeah, Ruth 3K is a streamer too. They have their own emote here. I believe it's called the Derp Kangaroo emote. So welcome. Rue is also a variety streamer. Welcome, welcome. Mo mo mo. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the mo hype, the drapon, dragon, and no pawn mix. Let's go up and on the flight desk here. So on top of that, I really enjoy the character designs. Yeah, they have really nice. I love the character designs in this game. Uh, that's one region, like area of the game they did really well. Contrary to popular opinion. No, I think it, the popular opinion is that they're pretty good, but there are different voices on that. I've seen other opinions. Ah, sugoi. Haipu, Nihongo Haipu. Arigatazaimasu, my man Morgan. Domo, arigatazaimasu. Thanks so much for the bits. Sugoi, infinite Nihongo Hype. Ooh. The hype is now infinite. In Japanese, do you know how to say infinite? Let's write it. Mugen. Maybe you've heard the word before. So it is now Mugen no Hype. Which means infinite hype. The Nihongo hype on Twitch is now declared by Modman Morgan. And he's a modman. He modifies things. So he can modify Twitch itself. That's his ability. He does mods. He's Modman Morgan. So, the hype is now Mugen no Hype. The hype is now infinite. Thank you very much. Arigatazaimasu. Uh, so, Mugen no Hype. Sugoi. Nihon no doko ni sundeimasu ka? So, I don't live in Japan. Um, but when I did live in Japan... Oh, you're using the past. So, yeah. I lived in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Yamaguchi. So, kind of inaka desu ne. I lived in Yamaguchi Prefecture and I taught English there. Mugen. Nice. Ru breaks out the Mugen, the kanji for Mugen. Very, very cool. Hype. Mugen no hype. The hype rises. I'm trying to do my best uh, Bane voice for that. Nihongo de. The hype rises. Let's see if we can get up these steps. There's too much hype to even get up the steps. But as we rise up the steps, the hype also rises. Uh, and we got to a dead end. Wait, we need to go down. Jet program. Hi, so this. <laughs> yep, I did the jet program. I recommend it. It was awesome. Uh, by the way, what Weasel is mentions down here is the program that I did to teach Japanese in Japan. Uh, to teach English in Japan, I did what's called the jet program. I highly recommend it. To do it, you need a four-year degree. But you don't need any Japanese. A lot of people don't know any Japanese. But a lot of people have done it. It's through the Japanese government. And I lived there on the JET program for two years. They pay you quite well. I worked for a Japanese high school. I was actually in five Japanese high school. Japanese high schools, rather. Program. I think there's an R in that. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I very much recommend it. It can be hard to get into. Uh, like at the time I got into it, I think only like 30% or so were accepted, but for some reason they did accept me and it was awesome. Sugoku tanoshikatta. And at that time I studied really, really, really hard in Japanese and took the JLPT as well. I, I passed N2 when I was there on the JET program. Earlier we talked, um, so Weasel is, did you ever take any JLPT? Cause I know the, the scores just came back. One person said today that they, uh, they took N2. I think that was Polrom. Um, did you ever take the JLPT? I talked earlier about the that test and how it can be a really good way to study Japanese. So how do I get to this flight deck? Maybe I'll just teleport there at this point. Nihon no... <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Ruth Ruke? Japanese watermelon? Nani? <laughs> Uh, so where are we going here? Eh? Hey. 
Uh, I'm getting lost again. So it's on this level? This way. Yoshimasho. Nihon no watermelon. I don't know what she means, Ruth. Why are you talking about Japanese watermelons? Now never did, but N2 is very good. Well done, man. Um, five, year, five years of studying, did you say? Uh, wait, so me? Are you, are you talking about me? I, I passed N1 a, couple, a few years ago. Um, I took N2 when I lived in Japan, but a couple years ago in the US, I took N1. And I passed it. Go kakushimashita. And Poram-san, who's writing there now, I think they, they took N2 just recently here. Um, dang, still not very good with reading Japanese. Yeah. Let's see where we're going here. Here we go. Here's the reception desk. So we can read their name in katakana there. Muru Muru. Sperbia Tekoku Yuki no Fune ni Noritain Dakedo. So I'd like to go to Sperbia. And we would need a ship for going there. So Ru says in the comments there, I remember you taking talking about showing Japanese kids a video of you smashing a watermelon. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I did show a video of smashing a watermelon and they dug it. They have a, a something called suikawari in Japan. It's a custom of breaking watermelons at like festivals. Suika means watermelon and wari means to split. So true. N1, wow, that is insane. How long did you study in total for N1? Again, I've been studying off and on for, for like decades, but I'd say like serious study for N1. Something in the range of five to six years is what I would say. But like there was some periods of like like six or seven years where I didn't study that much. So it's kind of an off and on thing. But now I'm all in. I'm 100% in on Japanese now, which is why this channel exists. Uh, show the lawn chair jousting video. <laughs> so what Mad Mad Morgan is referring to is I used to be a YouTuber and there were some videos that we made. And I don't know if I want to go down that road right now, my Morgan. But uh, yeah, these videos I did show to people in Japan and they really liked those videos. <laughs> so we want a ship. Let's see. Akiwa uh, Arukana. So do you have any empty ships? Jubun ni arimasu mo. We have plenty. Ohitori desu mo. Just you? Eto. Uh, so we have over six people who need board here. Me want watch jousting video now. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Igneel wants to see the jousting video. Uh, but me want learn Japanese momo. I think we'll hold off hold off off on that for now. Um, maybe someday if we like, I don't know, get some crazy target like, if we get over nine thousand on followers, say. Maybe then. Maybe then. <laughs> Maybe then we can show the jousting video. But that's, that's more of a long-term thing. I don't want to focus on me, really. I want to focus on Japanese, and this kitty wants to be the star. So that's why this kitty is in the camera here. <laughs> Yosh. And that video is from a, a while ago. Uh, okay, so you're going to go to the supermarket. Itekimasu. Ja, jane, weasel son. Your cat looks like Cody Cat. Yeah, the cat's name is Griffin, by the way. Neko needs wings. So, Komoshi and I. Let's get some wings on there. We get some wings. Now the kitty's got some wings. So, this yone. Ja, matane. See you later, Weaselis. Again, welcome to Japanese Quest. Yokoso. Momomo. Hisa Hisa no Dantai. So you got a big group. It's been a while since so we had a group like that. Um, Dantai sama no ba'ai wa otoko no sabusu ga arimasu mo. Zen ni matomete. Ooh, it's expensive. Um, yon hi. Or Yonsen Gold de Nori Hodai. So they can ride as much as they want for 4,000. Desketo. Oh, yeah, we have a desu. Good call. Thanks for calling it out. I almost missed it. Let's get a uptime. Uptime command. Onegaishimasu. So, those of you just joining, 
We every day on Japanese Quest we have a learning target. Basically, we try to collect these targets in game. We're going in order with the most kind of important things that we need in Japanese. Today, we're looking for des. Maybe you've heard it, desu. You see it in anime a lot. So we have uptime, Rue3K, arigatouzaimasu. So we found des here. So let's mark the des and let's see exactly what it's doing. So what does des do? So here he's saying, um, so for your group, otokunasu sabesu ga arimasu mo. So then we have a new sentence starting here. Zen in matomette, um, yonsen goldo de. Nori hodai des mo. So at the end we see the mo because it's a no pun. That's the no pun dialect, and nori hodai means all you can ride des mo. So des here pretty just pretty pretty much just means uh, like is basically. So the price is for all of you four thousand. So again, des is usually me means just kind of like a. Um, equals B. So the price is um, 4,000 and then des. So usually when you have a something, something is something and a noun, you end the sentence with des. Uh, so I see a question. Poppy doesn't say a lot in Japanese. Hana says lots of mo. Yeah, when she talks, she says lots of mo. And there's kind of a lot going on in this sentence, so it might not be the best one, for an example, because there's a lot going on, but thanks again for writing the uptime. We've now found three deses. We need to find two more today. Now let's leave the wings there for now, maybe. Yosh. So, ore wa mitte no tori salvager dakara. So I'm a salvager, so I can probably go for free, right? Salvagers get to go for free because they can salvage on the ship and bring them some profits. Tadade no sete morareu yo ne. So you can take me for free. Again, this word here. Tadade, for free. Can ride for free. So Modman Morgan says, we should teach Japanese Quest the meaning of a Twitch emote for target powers levels. Yeah, I was telling Modman Morgan earlier on your stream, Modman Morgan, like, my power level on Twitch is low. I don't understand the emotes. So this one, I actually do know this one. I know two emotes at least. I think this one is Pog Champ. I think that just means like when you're excited. So I need to be taught. My power level in Twitch is low. So please teach me more about emotes. <laughs> and yeah, my Twitch power level, my Twitch emote power level needs to go up. I know nothing about Japanese, but it almost sounds like she always says Desmo. Yeah, that's actually a good point. She almost always does say desmo at the end of sentences. It's kind of like the dialect, mo for the dialect. And then, yeah, this emote I don't really know. Is this like the disgusted emote though? I think I might've learned that. This emote I don't really know. So yeah, I don't know some of the emotes, but I do know Kappa and I know Pogchamp. Okay, let's continue. So again, uh, this time it's not des, but it's masmo. So ni narimasu. So you use mas with a verb, but you use des with a mo. You, or you use des with a <laughs> adjective. I'm getting messed up by this, like, no pun dialect. Um, so yeah, mas is for verbs, des is for nouns, generally. Ah, uh, and this is like a special. Yeah, all these crazy emotes. Wakaranai, zenzen wakaranai, I don't know. Yeah, if you hover over, it tells you. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, true, true. So again, so we get a wadibiki, means a discount because we're a salvager, but for everyone else, we still need to pay. So now it's 3,000 gold. Okay. Eh? Tara ni naranai kana. So we're saying, eh, what? When you say eh like that, it can just mean like, what? Eh? Tara ni naranai kana. So you can't make it free for us. Again, tara means free. So we're saying, what? You can't make it free? And this word tada we've been seeing a lot, so maybe we could add this to our power level. Anyone want to add our to our power level with tada? We might as well, because we keep seeing it. Uh, I see another comment. So friend needs study. No pun dialect more. Yeah, I need to study it more. 
Tobu Neko, flying cat. So this is Tobu there means flying. That's what Ru said. Tobu Neko, so this is it. Tada, yeah, Tada means free. Let's add that to our power level. Let's check out our, our power level screen. Let's power up. You can see Goku there. The last thing Goku learned there was the word for heaven. And the way you say that is Ten Goku. So Goku, you can see, is powering up with his power level. But let's change it to Tada. Free, the word for free. Let's add that to our power level. Got to change the language quick. So I can change that word. Tada. Tada. Yeah, just tada. Probably just his hiragana is fine. So now we can see uh, Goku there looking at tada to learn that word. So let's go to the dictionary and look it up. Let's see what the dictionary says when we look up a new word so we can add it to our power level. So we're just focusing now on that word so we can add it to our power level. Tada. Tada. Let's write that on the dictionary. So there's the kanji. And then we can see above it the hiragana. Tada. So it can mean ordinary, common, but also it can mean free of charge. It's another definition. So it's a kind of harder word. It's an N3 word. For, so from the JLPT level 3 out of the 5 levels. JLPT N3. And so we can see that word there. I see a couple comments. Tada. Uh, isn't that what the JLP version calls Elysium? Uh, no, they call it, they call it Elysium Lakuen, Lakuen, which means like paradise. Um, but then Tada, so now we're using this tool, we can hover over it, and if we press C, we can add that to our clipboard, and we can add it to our power level. So these are all the words we've learned up to 151. The last word we learned was the word for heaven, Tengoku, and actually we just learned, to answer your question, Lakuen means paradise or pleasure garden. That's the word for Elysium. And then here, let's add the new one. Tada. Ordinary or free. So now our power level is 152. Let's increase our power level here by one. Anyone else have any ideas for words we can add to our power level? Because we could add more. Let's see. Power level is going up. It's now up to 152. What does the scouter say about his power level? So Napa just answered, asked, asked us a question. What's our power level? So now our power level, Napa, is 152. It's over 150. We are now unstoppable. Any other words we should add to our power level since we're just doing it? Uh, so Poram gives some examples. We have Ken, the word for sword, and Tate, the word for shield. Well, we haven't really seen those in the game. So let's try to keep it to things in the game for right now. Is Miko a Japanese word? Yeah, Miko is a word. Miko is like a geisha kind of in training. Power level 152. Yep, it's gone up a lot from the beginning. We started at zero. And we've already leveled up a lot. Nigeru. Yeah, we have seen Nigeru a lot to run away. Yeah, we could add Nigeru. It's something we often do in this game. Nigeru just means to run away from a battle or to run away. Let's add that to our power level too. Let's go back to the power up screen. Back to the dictionary. Nigeru, I know we've talked about a lot. It's often the smart play in this game is to Nigeru if you're not high enough level. Nigeru. Eh? I think they didn't like my all caps. Nigeru. Yep, they don't like all caps. Nigeru, to run, to escape, to run away. Let's copy it. Add it to our power level. Level up ushiyoze. We will level up in Japanese today. You get it to escape, to run away. Now our power level's gone up. Any other words? Keiken. Yeah, that's a good one, because that means experience, and like experience points. I think we can add that. We've seen that a lot in the game, too. Keiken. Can mean just like a general experience you have. Great suggestion. So Keiken, experience. In the game, when you say Keiken Chi, it means like experience points. But let's just add Keiken. Muzukashi kanji. It's a little difficult, but uh, that's an N3 word, but that's okay. They're all good words to learn. It's still a pretty basic word. So let's add that as well. Get our power level up to 154. Why don't we learn one more so we can get up to 155, a round number. Not to be confused with Keoken. Yeah, 
Kaioken times 10! Yeah, basically we're doing a Kaioken right now. Getting our power to go up. <laughs> Sugoi. Uh, Alright. Kanji. Kogeki. So yeah, Kogeki means to attack. We could use that. Kanji means kanji. Like Japanese characters. Or Chinese characters. Uh... Yeah, why don't we just add the word kanji? We don't have it. And we need it. We need to know that, for sure. We read them all the time. Just means Chinese characters. Kanji. All these symbols that we're reading, the more complex ones, they're called kanji. Very basic word. It's an N5 word. Power up. Nice katakana ru. Got the power up. Let's power up shiyoza. Isho ni. All together. Let's power up. Let's add that to our power level. Kanji. Whoops. I think I wrote the wrong thing. Eh, what did I do? I did something wrong. Let's go back to the clipboard. Gotta press C. Clip it to the clipboard. Back here. Paste it. Yatta kanji. So our power level is now 155. Let's level up here. 155. What does the scouter say about his power level? The scouter says that we are now unstoppable. The scouter may have exploded because our current power level is 155. Power up ushimashita. Level up ushimashita. Ne. Yep, that's the kanji for kanji. The characters for kanji. So desu yo ne. So now we powered up. Can you feel the power? Can you feel it? The Neko can feel it. The Neko powered up. The Neko now is the power of flight. Momomo? So how many people do you have? Uh, so we have more than six people. Daiseiko. So this ne. Power up shimashita. Power up 155. OEY. Yep, you can say 155 celebration. OEY, what Ru wrote there is celebration. Yeah, to, to bring the hype, I should bring in the the hype no pun. Also, the level up hat. These are all the emotes on our channel for all the tiers. It's expensive to get all of them, but since I'm subscribed to myself. Hype. Let's bring the hype emotes. Drapon and Griffin the cat, and also the level up hat. Sugoi. Sono uchi salubeja wa nanin desu So, how many salvagers do you have? Sugoi desu ne. The hype. Mo 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 mo. Yeah, mo is the hype language of no pawns. We got the hype ru in there too. Ore dake. So yeah, this is the problem here with our negotiating. Ore dake. Pretty soon, in a couple days, I think actually, dake will be our learning target. It's a very basic particle. It just means only. So saying ore dake means only me. So I'm the only salvager. And what do we see here? Des. Ore dake. Des. So can we get an uptime? Because we actually have the des particle here too. Ore dake. Des. So saying only me. Des. If you add des, that completes the sentence. A sentence with a noun saying me, only me. Des. And then saying des just makes it polite. You could say da. Ore dake. Da. But des here is more polite. So we're trying to be polite, we're trying to negotiate, get a better deal. So, ore dake des. I'm the only salvager, but can't you give us a, a better deal? Thanks again, Ru, for the uptime. Arigatouzaimasu. Let us continue with our journey and see if we can make a better deal. Uh, otomo wa nanin desu. So how many people do you have with you? Takusan desu. <laughs> Takusan desu. So we have a lot. Uh, how do you say it depends? on XYZ? Good question. Um, you can say, to say it depends, you can say ni yoru or ni yotte. You can say ni yotte. So for example, to say something depends on like context, for example, you can say like 
Bunmyaku ni yotte chigaimasu. Like it depends on the context. Or like it depends on、um, the color. You could say like iro ni yotte chigaimasu. Or like it depends on the animal. Dobutsu ni yotte chigaimasu. So you can say ni yotte or ni yoru. It depends on something. Good question.、Um, yeah, how many riders do we have, Ru? Thanks again with the Japanese. And we say, Taksan des. We have a lot. A lot of riders, especially if you can consider like all of our blades.、Um, isn't niyoru more like according to? It does mean niyoru, but it also can mean like depending on. It can have both meanings. Good question. It's also, it also works for that, for sure. So you can say like according to, but it also can mean like depending on something. Uh, uh, so, could you, spell, could you spend then 3,000 gold? Jokyaku. So, yeah, that just means riders, right, Ru? Tarade dantai sama o hakobu hodo murumuru no. Yeah, naka wa uru o te nai. So, yeah, I can't make any money. Or, yeah, futokoro wa uru o te nai. Yeah, I can't make any money if I just let you all go free, so I can't let you do that. What do you think? This is another choice. So, all the party members over here, if you're just joining, feel free to join the party. You can become a party member too if you follow or chat down here. And right now, we need to make a choice. So, do we pay the 3,000? It says, Shiharaimasu ka? Do we pay Shiharao or Shiharao nai? So which one? Let's do a vote with the party members. Shiharao or Shiharao nai? So number one, A or B? Shiharao or Shiharao nai? Harate kusai. So we have one vote for Shiharao. Anyone else? Pay gold. No pun, not trying to rip. Yeah, fair enough. So we have two votes for Shiharao. Anyone else? Would streamer mind if I were to ask a question again? Yeah, keep asking questions. That's what we're here for. This whole space is for asking questions. I'm a Japanese teacher, and we got other people that can help too. We can all help each other if we have questions. Shikata ga nai ne. So that probably means we have three votes. So everyone's saying, let's pay. So yeah, let's pay it. Maido, ari desu mo. So thank you so much. She had out. Yep, we paid it. Arigato. Let's erase this stuff.、Uh, oh, Alright, when you want to go, just tell me, and then if you get your group together, then you can go. Alright. Yeah, we don't want to rip off our no pun friend. That is true. Tomodachi da kara ne. We're all friends here. Sasuga, ah, Abaritia shokai no no pun da yo. Nvidia no toki wa makete kuritan da kero. So, yeah, as expected,、uh, a merchant no pun like this is going to be hard to negotiate with. Shikata nai, mina ga. Uh, so let's all go back to the, the inn and meet everyone there. All right, we got a ticket. Nice. Kippu is ticket in Japanese, by the way. It's an easier way to say it. Kippu. Mina wa tomodachi desu mo. Yeah, we gotta pay the money for the, the airship, right, Ru? Umai hatsu on. Yeah, yeah. Arigatamas. Thank you, Weaselos, for saying I have nice pronunciation. I do the best I can. Ishu ken me, gambarimas. Kore kara mo, gambarimas. So, Rockman has a question. Let's read what, the, what Rockman has to say. I always want to read when, when、uh, Mega Man has something to say. I wanted to know your thoughts. On the localization, English localization handled toning down certain aspects of the game. 
since you're so familiar with Japanese, namely religious undertones. Uh, honestly, I think it's fine. It's not changed that much. Um, what I found more noticeable, actually, is, like, toning down certain things about, like, Tora being into maids <laughs> and, like, kind of stuff like that that's a little bit etchy. I think they toned that more down. The religious stuff I didn't notice that much, to be honest. But the maid stuff they kind of toned down. No, Rockman is Mega Man in Japanese. It's kind of weird, but that's his name in Japanese. Igneo son. But good comments. So we need to go down here. See if we can find the way. Without getting lost. Can we jump, maybe? Ah. 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 <laughs> we fell too far. What? Momomo? Rakuman. Yeah, it's strange, but it's true. I don't know why. Alright, so we're going to the inn here. Okay, so we are leaving tomorrow. So before that, let's all get prepared. Understood. So we do see the desk there from Hana. She just said, Roger, ready. <laughs> Some strange. <laughs> yeah, it did. A it did. It did. We'll try to find another one. Missed it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get that desk on there. Up time. We found our last desk. We are now good. We learned a new language art. Level up. We just leveled up. We found the desk. Let's get an up time. Arigatadaimasu. So, and this is a really good one because it's the main character saying it. We got Pyro, Homura, saying it. Koko no ocha oishi. So earlier, someone said this word. Oishi means delicious. Oishi desu ne. Oishi desu ne. So after an adjective like oishi, if you want to be polite, you can add des. You don't need des. You could just say, you could just say, kono, kono ocha oishi. But if you add des, it's more polite. And uh, Homura here, she's very polite. So she, of course, will say, Koko no ocha oishi desu ne. It's delicious, isn't it? And uh, let's see. Yeah, what Poram said here, it's a very yasashi, very kind, very nice sentence to end on. Very nice sentence for, for des. And then Weasel says, for Japanese, every freaking edible or, or drink is oishi. Yeah, everything is oishi. And of course, you can say umai as well for delicious. And then, yeah, oishi onarashi. So, yeah, kind of womanly to say it like that. I agree. Umai wa. Yeah, interesting comment. Poram says, umai is more manly and oishi is more womanly. Yeah, I think that could be true. But I've heard women use, like I've heard it used both ways. And then, yay, yay. This time, no pun talk, not create confusion, Momo. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> no mo this time. And then Rockman says, but yeah, I like the architect referred to as Kami. Aegis being Holy Grail. Yeah, Aegis is Holy Grail in Japanese. That's true. So there are some things that are changed, but it's, I wouldn't say it's that noticeable, but good comments. Uh, yeah, great timing for that Watashi there. And everyone is also friends with a professional chef. <laughs> so this yone. Everyone's friends with a professional chef. Yeah, she's a professional chef, right? Is that what you mean? And I had the pleasure to get fed shirako one evening. That's some nasty stuff. Yeah, could you explain what that is to everyone? Shirako? I'm not that familiar with it myself. Igniel says, every anime in Japanese game ever. Momomo. <laughs> yeah, everyone has a great chef friend. Yeah, I really like One Piece. Sanji is a great chef for that show. Yo, should we find the last one? So again, oishi desu mo. Just a polite way to end the sentence. Uh, 
Ah, so this is a place where we can get Mezura Shimono, rare things from all over. We can gather them all up, and so you like it, huh? Mm. So we've still got a little while before we shove off, so we can maybe make tea again. Don't remember a chef in fairy tale. Really? I can't believe that. In fairy tale, in that like, in that like hero guild, like fairy tale, I remember they had like a an adventurers guild, right? They don't. They must have a chef for the like giant adventurers organization, right? The fairy tale group or whatever. Uh, so I really want to sleep after our after our boat journey. So I see a couple comments about Fairy Tale. So yeah, they did have a chef in Fairy Tale named uh, Mira Jane. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? Genitalia of fish? Uh, ah, so that's yeah, it does sound strange. Okashi desu Oishi desu ka? How was that? Interesting. Uh, so she's a bartender chef as well. I guess sometimes bartenders are also chefs. <laughs> Poram says, Yabai. Yeah, that does sound strange. Yabai, you can say when something sounds really weird. It does sound weird. Yabai, chotto okashi. So we can rest at the inn over there. Mazukatta. That oh, was not good. Mazui, yeah, means not so good. Ah, uh, both work. Mazui, mazukatta. Ah, uh, what? He smells something. Nani? Nani? Oh, sugoi. Yeah, this cutscene, Igneel. So this is kind of a famous cutscene, because we got some... You can already see that Rex is blushing there. So the word you can use that for that in Japanese is Hazukashi. So he's kind of embarrassed with what's happening. Hazukashi desu ne. Ooh, were they holding hands there? I didn't notice that before. They're kind of holding hands. Let's look. Let's analyze what's happening here. Are they holding hands here? I think possibly. So they ended up in bed. She transformed into Hikari, and for some reason, ended up in Rex's bed. So let's analyze what's going on here. Hazukashi desu ne. Echi na shonen. Maybe a little bit. Or maybe Hikari is the echi one. Kimi, Itsukara, so how long have you been there? Yeah, Nande, why are you in sleeping in someone's my bed? And a couple comments. Mithra has her arms wrapped around Rex, not holding hands. Okay, so yeah, arms wrapped around. That those other hands seem to kind of be holding hands. So Hikari hold Rex hands, Rex keep hands in fists. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's some important words to learn. We can add them to our power level, maybe. So she's calling him three names here. Hentai, Kedamono, Chikan. So hentai basically kind of means pervert. Chikan is even a bit more extreme in Japanese. Kind of meaning, that's what you call someone on the bus who like gropes someone. So like a groper, basically. And then Kedamono just means like kind of like an animal. So like... Basically, just calling him a pervert three different ways. Sugoi. And I see a couple comments. Um, can the sue be sm um, small sue be a word? Um, she's using sue over time. Yeah, it kind of can be a word, but I I'd have to see it in context. Yeah, thanks for the kanji on those words. Hentai, keremono, chikan. Uh, it's sad I understand all of what Hikari said there. No, it's good that you understood. That means you have a high power level. And to my knowledge, the small sue is for a short pause. Yep, pretty much. Just a short pause there. Sometimes to break up words. 
Chotomate. So someone asked about that phrase earlier today, so let's underline it. Chotomate. So you can see the small tsu here, like when he cuts, off, cuts a word off. So he's about to say choto, he cuts it off. So when you cut off a word, you can use the small tsu. Chotomate. So wait, wait a minute. Wait a bit. And then he says down there, ite. Again, he's, he's making it shorter using a small tsu. Normally you'd say itai for the full word, but he's saying that hurts. So he's just saying ite. <laughs> so this, this place, ore no heya. So this is my room. Otokobeya. This is the boy's room. So like, why are you here? <laughs> and yeah, Weasel is down there saying, yeah, please wait. Hmm? Mm, what? This is the boys' room, so she's the one who came here. So Igniel says, "Did Hikari hit Rex with his helmet?" Mo, well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I didn't totally notice what she threw there. Did anyone notice that? But she's about to throw this giant metal mug. Ah, uh, mata yachatta no ne. So I did it again. And here's the word. Unconsciously, mu ishiki. So while I was, you know, unconscious, sleeping, I kind of came in here into his room. And we need to stop here. This is maybe one of the best moments of this game. Let's pay attention. We've got a hat. This hat on Byako, the legendary beast, Byako. We've got to mention that too. This scene's amazing. Not just for what happened before, but for this hat right here. Let's add a hat here to, to Griffin. Griffin wants the same hat. So we got a hat. Let's get a hat down here. Griffin really wants the hat. So let's add the hat. Yosh, kawaii desu yo ne. Let's continue. Baka! Baka! I'm an idiot! I'm a baka! <laughs> So a couple comments. Kawaii, ta kawaii desu ne. That hat was very kawaii. That is the best hat. Yeah. Byako need to wear that at the end of stream. So desu yo ne. Uh, does Nia put the sleeping cap on Byako? I think he can put it on himself. He's a high level beast. But that's a good question. It's a very good question actually. So she's... Uh, so it's like... Sleepwalking, basically. <laughs> so, did you see? Did you see me? Etchi! Etchi! So, she's calling him Etchi. And I think everyone here probably knows what that means if you've watched enough anime. Etchi just means a kind of. It's, it means the, the letter H. Basically, it's how you say H in Japanese, Echi. So she's calling him Echi, which means it's short for hentai, being kind of a little bit risque. Echi. Eh? <laughs> so, so if you say that. Like, yeah, did we see her like that? <laughs> we saw her that way. And he's saying, I agree. Like, she could dress differently and not, ex you know, show so much of herself. <laughs> I mean, she's wearing what she's wearing. She dresses herself. So, like, what do you mean? What do we see? We're seeing what you're wearing, is Gramps' point. Does Nia put the sleeping cap? Oh, same question. Okay. He's saying, Byako is saying, I do like her outfit though. I do enjoy her outfit. So maybe Byako is actually slightly etchy. I did not know that. Ah, uh, Des Haken. Yeah, we found enough Desis now. We found five. So we gained the new language art. So now we're not really looking for Des anymore. Uh, but thanks again, Poram. Found the Des. We found enough. 
<laughs> yeah, her dress is. A, I don't think that's proper Japanese that you use with Google Translate there, Ruth 3K. But yeah, her dress. She's showing a bit of skin. That's her style, I guess. The Aegis can choose how they want to. She's like the most powerful thing in the universe. She can dress how she wants. She's earned that. Educate me. How is it improper? Uh, how is her dress improper? Uh, I don't totally know, know what you mean by that, Ruth 3K. I, don't, I mean, I don't think it is improper. I think they're saying that, I, I, I guess, like when she's in bed with him, like she's showing a lot of skin with the way she dresses. That's what they're talking about. Oh, how goes Good morning. Oh, no, the Japanese. Ah, uh, uh, so does Ne. You could, you could say like, chotto echina or like lo shutsu is the word that Byako used to like showing skin. So you could say like lo shutsu na dress, like a dress that shows some skin. Byako, the words he was using before was like to show some skin, lo shutsu. But it's kind of tricky. I wouldn't worry about that so much right now. Um, but you could also say things like, you know, like the dress is kind of short, like skato wa mijikai, things like that. Yeah, that's why like ecchi as an adjective could work. Um, yeah, to be honest, I'm not totally sure how to use it shootsu with that so you're right I may not have used that completely correctly uh, let's look let's look that up actually real quick for fun um, so the word I was saying is low shootsu not sure if there's a small two yeah um, so low shootsu so I think it can be used as a noun so that's the way I used it um, so exposure that's the, what the word byako was using before degree of exposure um, let's see it's not a word it's even an n1 word though so it's kind of like somewhat of a rare word um, like the sentence search doesn't turn up any sentences um, But yeah, see, it is a noun and a pseudo verb. So, which means you could probably say, like, uh, like, roshutsu ga aru dressu, or like, roshutsu shita dressu, something like that. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's kind of tricky. Good question, though, Ru. Let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does a scouter say about his power level? Uh, no, that wouldn't quite work either. Um, yeah, some 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 things are a little trickier with with Google Translate. Let's continue here. We're saying Ohio gozaimasu here to uh, to Homura. Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Uh, so she's saying Gomenasai, sorry. Sorry for uh, Hikari. She was wandering at night. She's got that habit. <laughs> so, so I didn't do anything strange, did I? How long Neko sleep in one day? A lot, like 16 hours probably. So she's saying, did I not do anything strange? Let's see Rex's reaction here. <laughs> yeah, you did nothing strange, nothing strange. So Homura's saying like she doesn't even remember what happened. <laughs> so I, I didn't do anything. Ah, uh, you found Desh that nice. So that's the past form of Desh. No, not that. 
Oh, so he says, like, not you. Like, I'm not asking if you did something. Like, if you did something scandalous, I'm asking if Hikari did something. Like, did she do anything? Huh, your dog is sleeping too? <laughs> nice. Hikari, ne. Uh, so she just like she threw stuff at us but that's about it uh, so did you get that injury from from that time from what just happened ah uh, gomenasai sorry it must have hurt and igneal a uh, nice comment Wakey wakey mouth. Yeah, it sounds like it. Daijobu, daijobu. So I'm daijobu heiki. Same meaning. I was, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So this Ah, really? Ah, so my zuki zuki shiteru. So my head still kind of hurts. <laughs> so here this word Wakai. So Gramps here is really old. He's saying Imonjana being young to be young, Wakai. So he's kind of uh, a little bit jealous of them. Yeah, he's got a nice voice. Old man speak, so it is in it. I completely agree. So they're both kind of looking at us and they're a little jealous. We've got our youth. We've got this youthful relationship between legendary blade and driver. Oh, here we see the truth about <laughs> about uh, Gramps. He's like kind of freaking out, freaking out like a little crazed Ewok here. Um, and he says, "Washida mo hoshi." Hoshi means to want. So I also want. A girlfriend. Kanojo means girlfriend. This is the kind of stuff they might have toned down a little bit in the English version. I don't really know this specific sentence. So he's saying, I also want a girlfriend. Not like she's our girlfriend, really. She's our blade, but still. Uh, <laughs> and then Byako says, yeah, I'm fine. I don't need a girlfriend. I'm good. I think Byako, he's okay. He's a, he's okay by himself. He's a wanderer, a wandering kitty. I never said that in English. Interesting. So they did maybe change some of that. Yosh. Good scene. Tanoshikatta. Ooh, there's the Titan ship we're gonna take. Oh, here we go again. Ah, uh, the girlfriend part never happens. Really interesting. Yeah, a lot of those little relationship things, I feel like were toned down for the English. Interesting. Oh, here we go. This is the kingdom we're going to, I believe. That's the king, I think. Or... Hi. So, just saying the blade's name. The blade says height. Yes. So this is our next stop once we get on this ship. So I'm back, Emperor. Thank you for your hard work. Your blade too, Kagutsuchi. Yep, the emperor. It's a. Yep, it's an empire. Empire has an emperor. Long time no see. Kagutsuchi. You also look like you're doing well. Genki so ne. Ah, Yahari Honmono. 
Let's break this one down because it's kind of important. So Tenno Sehai, the Holy Grail, the Aegis. So Homura, Yahari Honmono. So as expected, Yahari Honmono. She's the real deal, the genuine article. Hi. Hi. Yes. Shonen desu ka? Shonen desu ka? Is it a kid? Uh, judging from his uh what he's wearing, he seems like a salvager. Uh, I definitely want to meet him once. And if it will probably come true. Or if you'd like to meet him, it will probably come true. Uh-oh. So a ship, a transport ship, on the way to the Empire was attacked. This is talking about that report. That was what we saw Shin do earlier. He stole all those, those crystals, the transport ship. Yep, so he stole a lot of core crystals. That was their cargo. So, Ira desu ka? So, that was Ira, that secret group that Shin, kind of the main antagonist, is a part of. Looks like an English paper. So, desu yo ne. Oso, yeah, that is a good word. So, they were attacked. Oso, to attack. Good point. Osoraku. Osoraku. Yep, probably was them. Ah, uh, so it sounds like it was the man in the mask, which, as we, we know, is Shin. That man, Shin. It's the third ship. Uh, it sounds like NVIDIA, on their side, they're getting a lot of damage too. So they're attacking both sides. Attacking all the ships, getting all the crystals from everyone. I wonder why. That was it. Come on. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the Ira no Shoujo, the, uh, the girl who is captured. Uh, the girl they captured before, I think they're talking about Nia. We should have like fully questioned her about all of what they're doing. And she didn't do that at that time. That blade has fire buns. <laughs> so just, and then she has the fire of power and her hair is fire as well. He, that's your name. So yeah, we should have fully questioned her at the time. Uh, well, I mean, you did what you thought was necessary at the time. So that's good enough. So good enough. So and if your opponent is that man with the mask, then even if you had 5,000 soldiers, it wouldn't be enough. Who are better, Princess Leia or Bridget? I vote for Bridget. Good question, Exploding Penguin. These are the deep questions that Japanese quests in this party, if you become a party member, we can answer these deep questions. So who are better, Bridget or Princess Leia? So we see these buns here. Compare that to Princess Leia. You probably have a, some image in your mind of Princess Leia. The question is, though, without Princess Leia, would her hair even be like this? Because she kind of popularized this hairdo. So you got to ask yourself that. Would Bridget have hair like this without Princess Leia? Maybe she's just like the final form of Princess Leia. That could be, too. So consider that. So I'm going to say... I don't know. It's pretty close. These are the deep questions you must answer in Japanese quests. In addition, to in addition to leveling up in Japanese, of course. So Igniel says, I have no clue what the question means. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We're just talking about the buns kind of made out of fire that Bridget has here on her hair. Who wore it better? Her hairdo or Princess Leia has the same kind of hairdo. <laughs> Now there's more problems. Which is 
Gen Loin ga dokuji ni Yudikium no hakutsu chousa o saikai shi. So we started up、um, excavation at the old Gen Loin、um, at Yudikium. So I think it's like a mine they're talking about. Mashita. Kaisen ha. Roderi hiki. So they're talking about someone named Lodihi. I'm not totally sure what they're talking about. Core crystal を失ったことで焦りが出たのでしょう。Ah, so because they lost, lost core crystals, they're trying really hard to mine more. Yudikium はとても繊細な地です。Ah, so it's a very kind of a sensei, a kind of、um, brittle or easy to break land. Where they're trying to mine these core crystals, and it seems like maybe there's some problems there. And if we. Okay. If we anger Nvidia, maybe it could bring about some kind of war. Understood. Okay, so if there's any kind of strange movements there, we will. We'll take care of it. Nvidia, <laughs> so does it. Yeah, Nvidia. Maybe you got that card in your computer. Well, there's also a place you can go to in Xenoblade. What did you know? Nesan. So now we know it's his older sister he's talking to here. He's saying thank you very much. If you do not want to anger that graphics card, you could have a war, a civil war within your computer. You could also have a war in Xenoblade. <laughs> ah, my nose is like full of cat hair because this cat hair has been in my like, lap the whole time streaming.、Um, okay, Sperbia te koku yuki no fune wa doko kara deteru n desu ka? So, where can we get on this ship for this ship that we're gonna take? Yonkai, so the fourth floor, the flight deck up there. So, ka, so, ka, I see, I see. Ja, ikimashou ka, let's go. Yeah, you definitely want to keep NVIDIA happy. <laughs> Very true. Te koku fune, so desu yone. Yomi komichu. Yep, still reading. <laughs> um, so, let's go to the Empire.、Um, Dono tokoro ka, waku waku suru mo. So, I'm very excited, waku waku, to see what kind of place it is. Okay, we got our party back. Great. Alright, l are we close to the inn here? Hmm, I think we are.、Uh, I think that we will leave it here today for a stream. Been streaming for a while now. I think we'll leave it here today. So we'll start up again tomorrow and we'll go to this new Titan. A new adventure will begin tomorrow.、Uh, Will Rex be wearing a hat tomorrow? I don't know. But I do know we'll be streaming at 8 o'clock Central Time, Japan Time. I believe that's 11 a.m. So, oh, nice fire from Homura. They need some straw hats. So, we'll leave it there. We'll leave the stream there today.、Uh, well, to give some hats, let's make sure we save. That's very important. Save. セーブしますはい、セーブしました。やった。はい、みんなお疲れ様でした。今日は楽しかった。本当に楽しかった。We had a lot of new、um, party members today. A lot of new people dropped in. Thanks again so much for the host from Morgan. Thanks Ru3K for joining us as well. And all the other party members, Igneal, Polram, Blade,、uh, everyone else who is here.、Uh, Let's make a little top hat on、uh, Byako as well. We had some nice scenes today. We had that classic scene with the Dromark hat. Oh no, Dromark needs his other hat. I can't mess this up. I gotta get this right. <laughs> Dromark having the hat he wore in the cutscene. Yeah, good call. Let's try to replicate that the best I can. I can't really do it justice, but I believe it was. It had the two sides. We gotta do the Dromark hat because that is a high level. 
Boshi. High level hat. Sugoi. Level up with hats. <laughs> and we can get the halo in there. With the wings on the Neko chan. Hi, Mina Ja. Mata shita ja. Mata ne. Mina oyasumi na sai. Ja. Mata ne. We will call it a stream. We will leave it there. Our power level is now 155. The power level is still rising and it will rise tomorrow. Ja. Mata shita.